Okay, this is me. I've been an assistant coach at Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag for three seasons. And in those three seasons, I helped Man United once again win both the Premier League and the Champions League. Now, Eric Ten Hag wanted me to stay on his coaching staff, but I felt it was time for a change. Time for me to become a manager myself. Thus beginning our journeyman career mode series, where our goal is to work our way up the football world as a manager, starting at the very bottom with the ultimate goal of winning as many trophies as we can with multiple teams, maybe even multiple nations all to become the greatest manager of all time so drop a like if you want to see more of this and let's get into it now to recap really quick a few weeks ago man city offered us a contract to become their new manager to replace pep guardiola but at the time it didn't quite feel right so we did not accept the offer before we manage a team as good as man city we need to prove ourselves at a club outside of europe so fast forward a few weeks we're packing up our apartment with our dog fergie and yeah he's named after sir alex yeah now we're planning for a move we just don't know where yet as we're packing we get a call on our phone and it says it's from David Beckham. Now we have a little chat with David. Now we congratulate him on signing Lionel Messi, of course. Like what a signing for that team and also what a signing for MLS. A little bit later on, Beckham says that he's looking for a new manager for Inter Miami. A fresh new start with Messi joining and he says that we're the number one target on his list. Now coaching Messi, him coming to MLS, the expectations for this team would be absolutely humongous. Like as big as winning the MLS Cup in Messi's first season. But honestly, we're thinking about it like coaching the MLS at Inter Miami for our first ever manager job in our career, it sounds like the perfect team in perfect situation. So we tell Beckham, give us a contract to sign and you'll have your new manager. So a few days later, the apartment's all packed up. We look to Fergie and we're like, hey, we're going to Miami. So we say bye to Manchester. We leave the apartment and we drive off to catch our flight. Now, a number of hours later, we arrive in Miami and for the first time, walk into our new home, the Inter Miami training grounds. We're welcomed by David Beckham himself and we have arrived. Now, next up is our first ever press conference as head coach of Inter Miami. Now we say that we learned a lot in our time at Manchester United. Learned a lot from Eric Ten Hag. So that experience puts us at a perfect spot to try and transform into Miami into the best team in the MLS. Our journeyman series has officially begun. Now I've wanted to do a series like this for a long time. Now we're starting it into Miami, but we could end up coaching anywhere in the world pretty much. We could go from the MLS to Scotland to Austria, Poland, anywhere. All in the hopes of becoming an elite coach and winning football's biggest trophies, the Champions League and the World Cup. But the journey starts at Inter Miami. So let's get to know this team. So first First up, starting goalkeeper is Drake Callender. Now, he's only 24 years old, but 65 rated for the MLS, that's not bad. We might need a new keeper, though. At left back, we have Franco Negri from Argentina. Now, he's actually one of our more higher rated players at 72, and his stats are decently well rounded. Now, our center back pairing first up is Kamal Miller from Canada, and then Sergey Kristoff. Oh, man, I probably butchered that name, but 72, 73 overall, that's not bad for the MLS. And then at right back, we have the experienced DeAndre Yedlin, starting midfield Dixon Arroyo from Ecuador at 69 overall. Now, I'm gonna say Gregor, but it might be Gregore, but he's our best midfielder, and he looks pretty good. Now, at left wing we have Nicholas Stefanelli he looks like a solid player at cam we have Rodolfo Pizarro and this is the big one the huge one at right wing we have Mr. Lionel Messi our first ever manager job and we're coaching Messi like it doesn't get much better than that but also comes with a lot of pressure too and then starting striker is gonna be Joseph Martinez who is one of the best strikers in the MLS I think now on the bench we also have some decent players but I'll say this without Lionel Messi this team is probably one of the worst teams in the MLS really real life they're at bottom right now so this is not gonna be an easy job to transform this team now there's one thing we gotta do though and that is actually talk to Lionel Messi sit down with him and he says when Beckham said that he wanted us as manager Messi completely approved it and he also says that he's very excited to work together now it's time for our first training session as coach we've joined into Miami kind of like late towards preseason so our first game is actually coming up pretty soon so we're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna play with this team our formation our tactics so I think the reasonable thing to start with is gonna be a 4-2-3-1 it's basically what Tanag taught us now we could switch Messi to cam or even center forward at some point but we're gonna start him at right wing in terms of tactics our defensive style is gonna be pressure and heavy touch we're gonna try to play with a high line we're gonna start with 58 but i'm gonna try and look to push this up as the team gets more chemistry going we want to be like a high press possession based team hence being where our chance creation is on possession now our most important instructions are the fullbacks run type is gonna be on overlap our cam is gonna be on free roam and then messi is gonna be on stay forward cut inside and get in behind because we of course want messi being the focal point of this attack now like i said we've joined into miami a little bit late in the preseason and we do want to make some signings because if you look at our budget we do have 22 million to spend which is not bad at all but our first game of the season is already here now like i said inter miami in real life they are bottom of the Eastern Conference, so we're not exactly a good team. But you add Messi to this team, anything can happen, I feel like. And Messi's only the start, too. So before our first game, Messi gives a press conference, and he says that he didn't come to the MLS to just retire. He's here to win and compete for trophies, and he's very excited about the future here into Miami, and he's hoping for a win in our first game. Now, really quick, we're gonna use a brand new, like, slider set for this series. Now, we're still in ultimate difficulty. Now, competitor mode is turned on. That's one change. And then these are the sliders. I'll try to go over them a little bit slow. Now, with our sliders before, we only really touch, like, the CPU slider 
slider is making them like really, really good to make it that much more difficult. Now, this time we've actually altered the user sliders a lot. More so like increasing our error, like our shot error is way up and also our pass error is way up. So it's going to be tougher for us along with our first touch error. And then these right here are the CPU ones. So this should provide a more balanced and a little bit slower of a game, more realistic, I would say, but also giving the CPU like a big advantage where it should be tough for us. Now we're still on like default game speed, basically trying to make the game a little bit more realistic, but also keep it a really big challenge for us. That is what we're aiming for. It can still be tweaked, but that's what we're aiming for. We're going to start with. But that is enough talking. It's time for Lionel Messi's MLS debut against Chicago Fire and also our first ever game as a manager. Oh man, the fans are out for our first ever game. And this is our stadium, by the way. You know, the pink seats, the bubblegum pink seats are iconic, I think. But oh man, Messi leading out into Miami for the first time. This is going to be special. Also, I'm a little scared because this team is not that good. So I could see us winning this game. I could also see us losing this game. Whatever is going to happen, we're going to find out the MLS season to kicked off. And our manager career is officially kicked off too. Now, you guys are probably going to be used to our old sliders, which were honestly, they're way too fast. Like, I made the CPU and like the speed of the game way too quick. So this is going to be a lot more slower. I mean, not a lot slower. It's going to be decently slower. Okay, hold up. Because Messi, his first shot is going to be a goal in the first five minutes. Okay, what a debut for Lionel Messi. What have I just seen? Welcome to the MLS. Okay, this was incredibly simple. It is a pass in the box and Messi first time shot into the corner. The keepers did no chance. I guess Messi is just that special. He's built different. Okay, we are loving that. Five minutes, Messi already scores his first goal for the for Inter Miami. Okay, that is a very interesting start. Now, these sliders might be tweaked throughout the series to make them either harder or easier, depending how it goes. I did some testing. I feel like they should provide a challenge, but that start, I mean, Messi is just built different, I think. All right, Messi. Now, Yedlin is a very good attacking right back. Especially for the MLS. That's a decent cross, but not going to get it. Messi, win that header. He's not going to win that header. That should be pretty obvious. Now, look at it. It is Shakiri, the Liverpool legend playing for Chicago Fire. It's so funny. I mean, I haven't played with like low rated players like this in a very long time. It feels so much like slower. It feels like the Kensington series when we first started. I feel like the gameplay looks more like actual football and not like Ultimate Team, but I mean, we'll see. Into Martinez. Martinez gets it to Messi. Messi shot. Okay. Messi absolutely skies that. I put too much power on that. Hey, 20 minutes in. This has been kind of a casual start, though. Okay, that's a good ball into Shakiri. Our first little bit of defending. And now Shakiri scores one literally just like Messi did. Okay, the game is tied up. It's 1-1. I mean, like, I didn't think he was going to shoot that far out. And I thought if he did, we'd block it. But I guess we got to close him down quicker there. This has been an odd start. It's our first little freak out on the touchline. Okay, both teams have scored. Can we settle down now? Right, Messi to Martinez. Martinez, I feel like he's going to score a lot of goals for us. I just have a feeling. Now, that is out to Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Tries to cut inside. Goes for a shot. Okay, that shot was, uh, it was not even close. Ball into Pizarro. Pizarro shoots, and once again, not even close. Now, especially players like this, though, rated. Scoring outside the box is definitely going to be, uh, going to be a challenge, I think. Once again, arguably more realistic, though. Good pass, but Miller... I mean, Shakiri is going to be a danger man in this team. Now, we got almost like 70% possession, so our tactics are so far working. It's just the scoreline isn't exactly, uh, okay, that was a bad pass. The scoreline isn't showing it. We got to actually make, like, the possession count. All right, honestly, Chicago Fire, they're starting to get into this game now. Now, thankfully, the... I gotta figure out how to say his name. Is it Kristoff? Probably to save the goal there, actually. All right, Bizarro in a dangerous spot. Martinez is gonna try and go for that cross. Great cross, Martinez. Oh, can't quite get to it. That was a good idea, though. That was very close to working. All right, good tackle. Messi into Martinez. Martinez is gonna try to look for Leo. Oh, that pass was so bad, too. And our sharpness as a team is pretty low, too. But first half 1-1, one, one, it's not been that bad. Like, we got the first 45 minutes out of our system now. Let's try and actually, like, push on and take control of the game now. All right, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign, boys. Left back completely forgot this guy. Now they're gonna play it back. Thankfully, good tackle, and we get the ball out. All right, Messi, Messi, almost a great pass right there. I should play it over the top, though. Okay, Miller at center back. This guy's pretty quick. Very nice to have a quick center back. All right, second so half, team's kind of struggling to actually keep possession like the first half. Feels like we dropped off a little bit, but hey, game is still tied up. Ball into Pizarro, Pizarro. Get to the Martinez. Oh, man, so close to getting a chance again. Come on, boys, find this opening. Get it to Martinez, Martinez. Goes in the box, tries to get it back to Messi. He does Messi. Gets it over to Arroyo. Arroyo shot. Open net and Stefanelli scores. It's 2-1. Okay, that was a bit of a sloppy goal, but we'll take it. Another Argentinian scoring for us. I mean, Messi swung it, then Arroyo. Decent shot, but keeper can't save it well enough. All right, 2-1. 20 minutes left. And we're staring down a win in our first ever match as manager. Okay, our first ever subs are going to be Jean Motan and also Jean. They both have the same name. Now, that free kick is lofted in a little bit dangerous, but Miller gets it out. Now, that header is one to Messi. Now, Messi can kind of break here a little bit. Messi's going on a run. This is like classic Messi. All right. Ball into Messi. Get it to the middle. Okay, Stefanelli. Chance for... Oh, that could have sealed it. That shot was so far wide. Oh, man. The shots, I feel like, are a lot more realistic, but I'm not used to them yet. We got to get that one on target, though. Stefanelli into Leo. Leo. Martinez. Trying to dig it up to him. Martinez. Oh, I can't steal it. All right, 10 minutes left. I would much like to get this third and not defend a one-goal lead. Because time has told me that one-goal leads are not safe in FIFA. This is extremely far out, but I'm just not realizing this is Shakiri. Oh, he actually hit, he hit side netting. How was he that close to even scoring that? Okay, six minutes to just survive for our first win. Oh man, I don't trust these players to make simple passes. 
Uh, just like that. Our 65 rated keeper. Okay, maybe I should be a little bit more conservative with that passes. Oh, no, it's in the box. Dangerous. Don't let him shoot. Miller, good tackle. Okay, Miller has had a very good game at center back. Oh, no. They're getting all this space. No. Chance to go for a win. Good block. Rebound. Okay, Miller. No, it falls right to one of their strikers. How does it fall right to him? Oh, man. We had like two blocks there. The ball just fell right to their striker. I literally can't believe that. We didn't even get a replay. Okay, we got two minutes trying to do something now. I can't believe they just scored like that. We got, we got two minutes added on to potentially try and score a winner. Martinez, Martinez. Try to play to someone. Oh, man. Martinez has been so slow this game. I think that's going to be it. Yep, that is it. Full-time whistle in our first ever game is going to be a 2-2 draw that we lost in literally like the final minute of the game. That is so heartbreaking. We played well enough to win, but our attacking play was not good enough at all. Like, we need to string passes together more. Messi scores in his debut, but it's going to be a draw. So after that game, we give a post-game interview, and we say that we saw a lot of good things from the team tonight. Also, a lot of bad things. We'll take it as a learning experience and try to improve in our next game. I feel like what that game has told me, though, is that uh, this team needs some reinforcements. So we're sitting in our office and David Beckham walks in and says that he has secured two more signings. The first one being Jordi Alba. With Messi joining, it was pretty easy to convince Jordi Alba to join by David Beckham. And this gives us one of the best left backs in MLS now. Same thing goes for this next one as Sergio Busquets has signed for Inter Miami as well. I can say the same thing. The chemistry between Messi, Jordi Alba, and Busquets, it is literally a hundred. And this should make our defensive midfield one of the strongest in this league as well. So officially announced Jordi Alba signs for Inter Miami and also Sergio Busquets. And Beckham says that we still have money to spend and he wants us to make our first official signing soon because he wants to take this team to the top of the MLS. So there's the new look lineup with uh, Jordi Alba and Busquets. I mean, those are two large upgrades for this team. Now they're old. They're going to go down overall. But for now, this team just got better and we're about to see how much better we've just gotten. So Austin FC, our second ever game and also Jordi Alba and Busquets debut for Inter Miami. Now, okay, if we sign Messi, Busquets and Alba and then we lose this game or even fail to win it, there's going to start to be some big pressure on us. So we're going to need a good performance from the team this game. Game number two officially kicked off. Jordi Alba. Oh man, you can already tell. The MLS, he's probably the probably the best left back. Now the problem is the rest of our team, excluding the Barcelona three, are not very good. Other than Martinez, probably. All right, immediately Austin FC. Good chance. Should be out. And we do get it out. And right now, we're honestly getting cut apart a little bit. And I would say a lot. And our keeper can't save that. It's going to be 1-0 to Austin FC. They're, like, getting into our box just way too easily right now. Like, uh, the other midfielder, not Busquets, is not even marking the guy who scored. That is an issue. And also, yeah, Calendar and goal. He's 65 rated. We're probably going to need a new keeper at some point. And probably some point soon. Okay, we need to try and recover from this. Stefanelli. Has a cross. Goes to Messi. Header by Messi. And it's over the net by the keeper. All right. That wasn't that bad. All right. Pizarro is taking the right corners and Messi is taking the other one. Why is Messi the main target off that corner? That uh, makes no sense. All right. Jordi Alba gets it over to Stefanelli. Into Martinez. Martinez shot. It's going to go way over the net. Our shooting is so bad right now. I mean, I thought Martinez had this in his locker. Maybe not. I don't know. See, there's an issue. They get in our box too easily. And we got to get it out. Yedlin, good touch. Let's just clear it. I don't think we have the players to really mess around the box a lot. Keep trying to keep possession. We need to just get the ball out. All right, not going to lie. We are struggling in this game a little bit more than the last one, which is uh, kind of surprising. We're still trying to figure out as a team how to play. Okay, Gregore gets it over to Pizarro. Busquets out to Yedlin. Into Messi. Messi is going to lose it. Feels like the potential is there. We just got to find it. Okay, Messi. Good chance to shoot. Messi shoots. Keeper. Good save. Okay. That was our best chance so far. Now, Messi, corner in. Can we get a good header on it? Yes, we can. Okay, Miller scores, and it's 1-1. I have a very good feeling about this Miller guy in our center back spot. He's actually pretty good. Messi gets the assist, and this game is now tied up. Like, Messi's delivery from corners is going to help us a lot. But still, Miller, this is such a good header. That's pretty far out. Fights for it. That's a great header, actually. Okay, 1-1 in what? The uh, 45th minute halftime? Maybe that'll give us some life for the second half. Okay, this is incredibly dangerous. Jordi Alba. Needs to defend this well. That's a good block right there, but I need to get the ball out. Okay, Jordi Alba, that is a great tackle right there, actually. Now, Jordi Alba can play that pass, and also Messi can too. See, they have the good passing. Jordi Alba, okay, Martinez. I wasn't trying to get it to you. I don't know where this cross is going, but you know what? It might actually work better because that's going to go into Messi. He's going to shoot. Oh, Messi actually hit like the back post. Okay, that was a pretty good well-worked move. Just a shot. Oh, Leo, we need that on target. That is so close, though. Okay, why are we side of position? I don't know, but Miller? Man, Miller is a beast. I'm saying it right now. He is one of our best defenders, probably. All right, Messi is trying to look for Martinez here. He's going to try to look for him. Finds Josef Martinez. Now, he's going to try to get a shot away. Okay, that is defended so well. It's going to be a corner, at least. Yeah, I am struggling to get Martinez involved. I'm not sure why, but... That's a chance for, it's Miller again, again from a corner. Our center back has a brace from corners. This is insane. It's 2-1 though. This time, Pizarro with the, with the cross. Okay, set pieces are the way to go today, I guess. Man, Miller, I don't know what his jumping or heading is, but it's probably high. Okay, 2-1 to Inter Miami. Now the question is, can we keep this lead this time? All right, Messi to Yedlin. Now Messi continues his run. 
Yedlin? Okay, see, I gotta realize what players I'm using. On these sliders, like, the players who can't make passes, they will not make them. It's not all, like, ping pong. Oh, man, and the line is stretched thin, and that is awkward. Miller will clear it, though, and it's it's solid defending in the end. Jordi Alba, see, his passing, you can just tell. The high-rated players obviously can pass so much better. Gregore into Pizarro. Now let's try and find the space and occupy it. Messi, good first touch, Messi. Tries to get it over. It's gonna be a corner, I think, again. Can we score another corner to seal this win, maybe? Now, that is some decent delivery. Where is Miller at? Miller, I need you to get towards that. Now, this could be a shot for Pizarro. It's going to be blocked, unfortunately. Bro, I am terrified. I am terrified. I don't trust my defense unless it's Miller there. Unless it's Miller and Miller blocks it and prevents this game being tied up right now. All right, we got two subs. We got Campana on for Martinez. See how he plays. And also Robert Taylor. I think he's a younger uh, left mid guy. Now, please, boys, defend this corner. Do not lose this lead. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's Rigoni scores and this is once again gonna be 2-2 Man, i guess we do it to them they're gonna do it to us oh man what happened here i just feel like when it was in the air i had a bad feeling about it oh keeper i feel like our keeper's gotta do better with that though it's like right at him calendar i think you gotta save this like god it's yeah it's kind of right at you oh man that's so unfortunate okay game is tied we got nine minutes yeah linda messi messi campana's on now i have no idea who he is but he has a chance there Falls the messy volley attempt, and it's going to go super wide. More. We're pushing for this winner. I don't want to draw another game. Sergio Busquets driving forward. Gets it over to Campana. Campana. Oh, stops. Stops. Oh, he's just so clunky. Just loses it. Oh, my. You got to be kidding me. Oh, thankfully, he's offside. I don't know what happened there, but we got one minute now. Man, is this going to be another draw? I think it is, bro. Oh, man. That's a bad throw in. Oh, we almost stole that. Is that us or them? What is that? Oh, it's a foul on us. You got to be kidding me. Okay, we got to prevent a winner. Miller, good tackle. Now, can we get something going forward? I feel like we're not going to be able to. Oh, the ref blows the whistle. Messi was on a run. It's going to be another 2-2 draw. That is so frustrating. Now, honestly, we still didn't play that great. Our attacking play was not that good. We scored like two great corner routines, but the corner routine is also the reason they scored and tied this up. I mean, these first two games just show like this entire series on these sliders is going to be a challenge. So after two games, we sit outside the playoff spots. Now, of course, MLS is a little bit different than Europe, whereas like whoever finishes first, it doesn't really matter as much as long as you make the playoffs. Our goal is to try and get as high a seat as possible for the playoffs. So as long as we're in the top seven, I would say say that's that's where we should be at the very least all right so we're taking a little break to move into our new apartment in miami and of course fergie is so excited so let's show off our new place we're gonna be living at for now we got an insane view and then as we turn around we got a nice looking kitchen it's very spacious we got a whole living room set up it's beautiful with the tv and everything now beckham helped pick out this apartment so i feel like he made a good choice and then into our office we have all our stuff back on the table from our old apartment our bedroom is clean we got a walk-in closet this place is nice and fergie likes it too now we turn the tv to watch some highlights of the next team we're facing our third game and it's against probably arguably one of the best teams in MLS. We are facing LAFC at home. Now, they have actually, uh, they've lost their first two games, which is a little bit surprising. I mean, they got players like Chiellini, Carlos Vela. It is a very solid team. And before this one, Carlos Vela gives an interview. And he says, of course, everyone is excited about Messi joining MLS. It's great for the league, but we need to show him that this is not a retirement league. That he's not just going to come here and dominate. So there's a few words exchanged right there. Now, I think for this game, I want to try Messi at Cam. And then try starting Taylor out wide. He's a little bit quicker, so I might try that messy down the middle see if that works better for us because two games two draws we need to win but this one i feel like it's gonna be very very tough and also let me know what you guys think about our sliders i feel like in our other series recently where we increased sliders so much there was like way too many goals where it got pretty unrealistic so i feel like these are challenging and it also means it's overall a bit more realistic while keeping it pretty tough but oh man we are in need of a win so let's try and get it boys problem is this team i mean they are experienced and they're just a lot better than us Jordi alba i am not sure what we said there Thankfully, he's offside. That could have been a very bad start. All right, Taylor out to Yedlin. Now, we need people in better spots for a cross, and that cross is right at the keeper anyways. All right, Messi down the middle might be more involved. He's going to run here. Messi going on a decent run. Finesh on by Messi. Keeper saves it. That's not a bad first shot of the game for us. Oh, that is... Wait, okay, Gregory just blocked it in. Wait, what? I wasn't even looking at the goal. I was looking downfield. He actually blocked the keeper's kick. I've gotten close to doing this a couple times, but not that close. This actually happened. Oh, man, that is our pressure a high line whatever it is what a weird way to score the first goal of the game but i'll take it one nil in the 11th minute okay costa this is dangerous this is very dangerous this is what we struggled to defend so far thankfully Kristoff gets it and we get the ball out now one thing that's probably gonna be a little bit unrealistic is competitor mode it's gonna make players do a lot of skill moves but i've just found competitor mode makes the ai seem a little bit more unpredictable and on these like slower sliders you kind of need it so i think we'll deal with the skill moves just to make it a more challenging experience all right stefanelli that's a good run there martinez martinez gets to that we're going to try and dink the keeper, Martinez. What what attempt was that? Bro, he's a solid striker. I don't know why his shooting has been so bad. It's like only him. It's so weird. Bro, get the ball out of our box. Get it out. Kristoff, just get it out. Just clear it. Just get it out. All right, they're getting more into the game as the game goes on, which is, uh, of course, not a good thing. That's a good ball. Jordi Alba, 
Can't get that. Kristoff needs to try and recover there. Oh, I got I got destroyed by this guy. Then he totally missed. Okay, look how tall this guy is. Oh, man. Okay, there's some of the realistic shooting. The misses. Martinez at wide. Now, this Taylor guy actually feels pretty good. Martinez in the box. Is going to try and find Taylor. Oh, man. Taylor needed to be up more, though. Right when I compliment you, you do a bad play. All right, Messi. Can we find Martinez? Martinez is making a decent run there. It's going to go all the way out to Stefanelli. Header attempt right at the keeper. Taylor into Messi. Messi can go for a finesse shot. Oh, man. Good shot. Keeper, good save. All right, that is halftime. At least we're up 1-0 right now. At least it's not tied up. I just feel like our shooting needs to improve and we can really start actually scoring some goals. Because the passing is improving. That's improving as a team. The shooting will come. All right, Messi into Stefanelli. Now, Stefanelli. Martinez, I need you in a better spot. Martinez gets to it. Stefanelli. There's an open net. Wait, he was just taken out. Was that on a penalty? I feel like he was completely taken out there. Bro, I don't know what that was. Tinez into Taylor. Through to Messi. Messi. Oh, man. He almost got a foot to it. I was trying to do a little chip shot. Come on. We're making breakthroughs. I feel like it. In to Messi. Messi turns. Goes for the shot. And Lionel Messi makes it 2-0. Okay. Finally, a two-goal lead. And, of course, it's got to be the main man, Leo Messi. Martinez kind of came up for the pass. And then Messi got in the striker spot. I like that. Because Messi in that spot is absolutely deadly. That is a great finish right there. Okay. 2-0 up on LAFC. Come on. This has got to be our first win. Still a lot of game left, though. I feel like Stefanelli is also really good. Like, his dribbling, you could just tell. He's one of the better players. You know what? Why not try a long shot? Okay, that one wasn't that bad. At least it was on target. Oh, Yedlin steals it. Yedlin tries to get it to someone. Okay, Taylor, Taylor. You can try to go for a shot. Oh, man, just shoot with your left foot. Why would you try and go with this right there? Okay, we are starting to take control of this game, though. Taylor, Taylor. Gets it to Messi. Messi over. Stefanelli into Leo. Leo in the box. Picks out a spot. It's going to be blocked, though. Corner swung in. Messi going for the header attempt. Oh, man. That could have fell to one of our players there. Okay. What is this pass? You got to be joking, Carlos Vela. Oh, yeah. Lynn's not having it. Don't let them back in this game. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Don't we do it. Carlos Vela in front of the net. Gets over. Please, someone got to make a tackle. Thank you. Uh, Stefanelli just clear it. Desperate, but defending that works. All right, they're making their push. That gets through, and LAFC are going to score one, of course. And, like, why do we just let them run in behind that easily? He just times run perfectly, and Miller falls asleep. Okay, I'm bringing on Pizarro for Martinez, and then uh, Gene for Taylor, and now Messi's going up top at striker. We're doing it. Like, right now, that's probably the best sub we can make. Once again, I don't want to defend a one-goal lead. Can we do something to prevent that? All right, Gene has got fresh legs into Messi. Messi gets it to Yedlin. Yedlin gets it back to Leo. Okay, Leo. Chance for finesse on maybe Leo. Drives in the box. Oh, man. He just got sandwiched. Gene gets it over to Stefanelli. Stefanelli turns. Oh, Stefanelli is going to lose it. Come on, boys. Just we got to keep this ball in their box. We got three minutes. We need to keep this ball right now. Come on. Into out of time. Jordi Alba. Oh, man. Okay. At least we keep it. Time is running out. They only got a minute left. Are we looking at our first win? Please, ref. Just pull the whistle. Please. I don't want to give up another lead. We are not going to give up another lead. Okay. First ever win in our manager career. 2-1 win against LAFC. Man, we played good that game, but we still had a fight for it at the end. But our first win, it feels so good to get that out of the way now. And just like that, we jump into a playoff spot in fifth place. I mean, we can say we haven't lost yet, at least. All right, so a few days later, we're in our office, and we get a call from Eric Ten Hag, pretty much our former boss. Now, he says he's watched our first few games, and he says he's liked what he's seen so far, but he thinks we need to take control of the team more, be more commanding as a coach. And also, if you ever need advice, just to call him up. And we tell him we appreciate that. We'll try and work on it. So I thought our last game was tough, but apparently our next game will be the toughest. We're facing FC Cincinnati, which is apparently the best team in the Eastern Conference currently. Two wins and a draw in their first three games. I think we're going to play Messi at cam once again i mean the fact that we won messi at cam we probably shouldn't change that so two draws and a win let's see what we can do in our fourth game man absolutely the scary thing is which if you can't prove yourself in the mls like no european teams are even gonna think about hiring you so there's a lot of pressure on us here and the fact that we have these players it's just even more pressure so if we could start off with two draws and two wins i think i would take that the problem is i do have a feeling this might be the toughest game yet because this fc cincinnati team looks pretty good although okay that is a crunching tackle but it's clean i like to see it okay, already you can tell this team might be Cut from a different cloth than most most teams in this league. They're going to score immediately. Vasquez scores. We are 1-0 down immediately. Man, I feel like we weren't even like bad position there. Miller went for an aggressive tackle. Maybe he should have stayed with the man. But that one's just tough. That's a great shot. All right, literally seven minutes in, it is 1-0. All right, Stefanelli, we're going to try to do a long ball. Messi, we headed down to Martinez. No, we can't. Bro, Martinez has been so bad for us in the first three games. I feel like it'll come good soon. It's just like, where is the shooting? He should be one of the better strikers in this league. Now, Acosta. Oh, okay, what is all this space? Miller, that is a goal-saving interception right there. All right, Jordi Alba's on a run now. This man can cross. We know that. At least I think he can. Yes, he can. Martinez. Okay, I don't know what that finish was. And then Jean goes for the volley and just sends it to the stands. That was uh, that was something. Now, this Jean got right wing is actually kind of slower. Okay, Messi dribbling around a few here. 
Okay, okay. We need someone in the cam spot right there, though. Like, Messi needs help right there. But the Jin guy's a little slower, but he's better on the ball, so I'm trying him this game. Okay, I see their game plan. They're going for a lot of long balls right now, so we gotta be careful. They're trying to exploit our high line, which is only, like, only a little bit of a high line. Jordi Alba into Leo. Leo looking for Martinez. Okay, Leo in the box. Goes for a shot. Good shot by Leo Messi. Come on, set pieces might be our thing this year. That looks great. Martinez, oh, can't get that. Gets it back, though. It's going to be Stefanelli. Goes for a shot. It is blocked, and we can't get the rebound. Okay, Martinez is hurt. That's uh, a bit worrying. Stefanelli out to Jordi Alba. We got an option across the kind of far post here. We're going to try it. Oh, man, that was not even bad. This player didn't even go for it. Jorge Busquets, great steal. All right, Martinez kind of hurt. Plays up to Messi, though. Messi. Okay, good touch. Messi goes for the shot, and Keeper is going to save it. All right, Martinez is hurt. I can't play him, so we're actually going to move Messi back to striker. And then Pizarro to came. I feel like that's the best option. I don't really trust our backup striker right now, so Messi at striker. It could work, obviously. Oh, man, that falls. Header attempt. Okay, where is the ball going? Jordi Alba gets it back to Gregore shot, and it's going to be blocked. Oh, man, that the goal was open there. Busquets gets it over to Pizarro. Pizarro. Gets it over to Jean. Okay, he was just taken out there. I tried to turn the other way. I see. Ball to Jean, who is in. Oh, Jean, he's trucking along. He's going to go for a shot. Okay, that was a good shot, but it's just wide. Okay, not a bad chance created, but we are currently 1-0 down. Come on, I feel like we could make a comeback in this game. Edlin gets it to Jean. In to Messi. Messi holds the ball beautifully. Man, his dribbling is so good. Gregore gets it out to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba. Not many crossing options. Goes to Messi. Messi. He's going to cross it in. Great cross. Oh, man, we could have climbed for it. Rebound. Goes over. Okay, what, what was that pass even to? Jean wins it back though. I'm cool with it. Stefanelli in to Gregore. We're going to go for a shot. Okay, that shot wasn't that bad, but we need them on target. Oh, this is messy. This is all messy. This is all messy. Keeper saves it. Rebound is in by Messi. Okay, that was classic Lionel Messi right there. This game is 1-1. Basically, just took on the whole back line by himself. Goes around a few and then eventually gets a shot away. It's saved and then bounces up and he gets a foot to it. Okay, this game is 1-1. Game on. Oh, man, it's actually an own goal. It doesn't even count towards Messi goal. So that must mean the, the center back got a foot on it instead of Messi. I don't even know. Most importantly, this game is tied up, though. Oh, don't let him tie it up immediately. Don't let him tie it up immediately. They have tied it up. Bro, just like that lead restored for them now this was just unfortunate though it was an unfortunate bounce that led to uh who is it a santos acosta actually i think right he just got free and had a free run at goal all right 60th minute this is 2-1 all right yedlin we're gonna try another cross at least it'll be uh is that a corner or that's a free kick actually all right messi's free kick we might have some good delivery here we're gonna try and curl this one in okay that is actually beautiful that is beautiful no one can get to it though who gets gets it out wide back to yedlin yedlin has space here to pick out a cross now we just don't have many crossing options at all right now in the box. Man, that feels like their whole team is so quick, though. Like, the Santos guy is quick. Acosta is quick. Is that his name, Acosta? I think it is. They just got players that are very, very faster than us. Speaking of speed, uh, Busquets gets it to Jean. Now, Jean, okay, he's kind of in here. Oh, man, just loses his pace, though. On these sliders, abusing pace is a lot tougher. So, like, speed is one thing. You also need dribbling and ball control and everything else. Come on, we're still fighting your Messi. Gets it over. Good pass. Ball through. Oh, man. He's just sandwiched. They're marking Messi so tightly up top right now. Now, Vasquez gets it over to Santos. Gets it over to... I can't even see his name. Just please don't score, whoever you are. Gets it to the middle. Middle. Okay, Miller did get enough there. Falls, though. Oh, man. We just can't get this ball out of the box. Acosta gets it over. Miller, good tackle. We survive. Messi to Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Stefanelli, good touch. Stefanelli, please. Needs a good finish. Oh, the finish was right at the keeper's feet. We need it better than that. Messi, corner in. Oh, keeper, it's right too close to the keeper. That's so unfortunate. Come on, Stefanelli and Messi. The Argentine combo again. Stefanelli, do you get another chance? Stefanelli's being hounded. Gets in front of goal, and Stefanelli scores. This game is tied up. Oh, man, he gets a second chance, and he doesn't mess it up this time. I think he shot it through the keeper's feet. This game is all square. Oh, I had, I honestly had zero faith in him scoring that. Zero faith. That huge center back was right on his back, but I believe he put it through his legs. Let's see. Stefanelli, he is a player in this team. He puts it through the keeper's legs. Oh, man, what a finish, and what a point this could be. All right, some fresh legs on the field. We got like a minute left, I think. At this point, with how good Cincinnati have played, I will take a draw. You know what? I would also take a win if we can get a chance here. Oh, Stefanelli gives it away. Okay, let's just defend for the draw. Unless we get another chance here. Get it over. It's going to be Taylor. Taylor, Messi, Messi over to Stefanelli. Stefanelli, good touch. Stefanelli into the box. Stefanelli has a chance to win the game oh man that was such a good shot stefanelli almost wins us the game that's a really good shot final kick of the game Lionel messi corner 
Keeper doesn't come out for it. He somehow saves that though, and that's full time. We could not have gotten a better chance from a corner. I can't believe the keeper just saved that. Oh man, okay, at least it's a draw, but we were so close to winning this game. So in the post-game press conference, we say that we really liked what we saw from our team this game. We were up against it, but the team pulled together and we got a result from it. Maybe he should have gotten even more. Now Martinez is hurt. He's gonna be out for five days though, so that's not bad. But he has been very disappointing at striker. I don't know why. And I mean, he's a player that's valued at 9 million, where if we needed to send a striker like a replacement we could potentially sell him but i don't know we still have money to spend so we're gonna need signings which speaking of that leo messi comes to us and he says the same thing he thinks this team needs a couple more signings and we say hey, leo don't worry we're working hard right now and there will be more signings before the transfer window is closed which i'm gonna need you guys help for that so looking at this team who should we sign now, i gotta keep in mind we gotta suggest players that we think would actually come to the mls like i would like a new keeper because calendar i mean 65 rated it's not the best you're like maybe a goalkeeper and another striker maybe but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below because like i said we do have 22 million to spend okay we have started our career as a manager we are the new coach of inter miami managing players like messi jordi alba and sergio busquets now today is about making our first official signing because with three draws and a win in our first four games we see that if we want to make inter miami the best team in mls we need to improve this squad so drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get right back into it so we're back in our apartment our new apartment in miami and we're starting to settle in now the past few days we have been very busy though trying to set up a few transfers now we have a few targets that i think would really take this team to the next level but we got to talk to david beckham first to make sure he okays the transfers so we headed to the offices to meet with him but first i think you should play messi as a false nine or a cam like in 2012 yeah i've thought about this too like play messi as a false nine like a four through three false nine i wonder with the player messi is now if that would still work in our first four games i feel like he actually played better at cam so we might have to do some testing there and next one some other players that are rumored to join are ramos luis suarez kaylor navas Doris, iniesta and rakitic yeah so with your guys help we have filled out our transfer short list now it doesn't guarantee we're gonna sign obviously all these players right now some of them could be future targets well for now i'll say this our transfer short list now it is full and i do like those suggestions and last one let's say in your old team there's a player you liked and did very well for you will you try and bring them to your new team yeah so once again the point of this series is to start at one club and then move to team to new team to new team pretty much going around the whole world too if we can and that definitely means if we like a certain player at a club we could definitely try and bring him to our new club because i mean there's a lot of players that will play for the same coach but at different teams so that is a real possibility but only if it makes sense but okay we finally get to the office and we tell beckham we think the most important sign to make next is a new starting goalkeeper and beckham says who do you have in mind now you guys suggested killer navas hugo Lloris, and also matthew ryan now we gotta remember we only have 22 million to spend and that can evaporate very quickly now killer navas his value is apparently zero so i don't even know how much we had to pay for him. maybe like a dollar i don't even know while Lloris is about five to seven million and then matthew ryan is also about six to seven million so i mean if we want to look at the overalls and the price killer navas might be the best option here so we tell david what about killer navas and beckham says that would give us maybe the best goalkeeper in mls so he says he's all for the transfer if we can make it happen now i don't think i've ever signed a player with a zero market value so i'm not sure how much to actually like offer i have no idea like obviously zero is a little bit unrealistic so what if we offer like maybe like one million i don't even know i'll offer two million two million see what uh ps you say to that that's like a i don't know a realistic offer it's literally zero i don't know what to offer here but okay two million they accept that you know for an 86 rated keeper i feel like we had to give a little bit of money up now are his wages gonna be a problem though because 86 rated i'm a little scared but oh man this would give us such a good keeper as long as he didn't drop an overall he'd be amazing so to your contract no release clause what kind of wage does he want he wants us to do it he wants us to do it oh man i don't want i don't know if i want to give him 115 what if we drop it down to like oh man what about 95 95 a little signing bonus killer navas what do you say to that do we have our new keeper in our first official signing yes we do i don't know why everyone just went blonde this keeps happening why is everyone blonde but killer navas is signed up as our new goalkeeper and here he is arriving at his new club like, oh man we are very serious about making this team the best team in mls and we're not done with signings yet navas is our first official signing though this team is slowly becoming a super team so a 66 ready keeper to an 86 ready keeper that is quite the upgrade that should help our defense a lot now we do have some more transfers for business planned but before that we face seattle sounders we are currently fourth in the eastern conference and seattle are actually bottom of the western conference so in our press conference before the game we say that we're very excited to bring kaylor navas to inter miami he's accomplished so much in his career garnered so much respect that he's gonna fit in perfectly with this team so inter miami versus seattle sounders away and kaylor navas debut for inter miami now, there's one big positive I can say about our start with Inter Miami. That we have not lost a game yet. We are unbeaten. Now, we've drawn a few more games than we should have, but still. I like that we haven't lost yet. We're playing in a very nice stadium. This is like the... This is actually an American football stadium. It's the Seahawks stadium, right? Okay, let's say we play with a new keeper and see if uh, we can slowly improve this team more and more. Now, I'm kind of surprised Sounders are this low okay navas makes a save in his first uh, touch as a inter miami player but i thought seattle was a good team i'm surprised they're bottom of the western conference now i don't watch them most that much but i thought 
They were decent. Okay, that's a shot. Okay, Navas, another save. Now, Joseph Martinez is a player that I thought would be so good for us in that first episode, though. He was pretty much incredibly shockingly bad, so maybe he'll pick it up in this one. Now, a player that has played well is Stefanelli. On that left wing, he has actually played so well. And Messi into Martinez. Martinez can't quite get that. I just feel like Martinez is so close to breaking through. Especially with Messi playing behind him, you think he'd score a lot. Not gonna lie, Sounders actually look pretty good with the start. It's a little concerning, Miller. Oh, no, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. Someone gonna mark him. Thankfully, Miller steals it and we survive. Right, Jordi Alba tries to get it to Martinez. Okay, our passing needs to be more connected. Bad giveaway, leading to a counterattack. But this Miller guy, Kamal Miller, is actually so good. All right, Messi to Gregor into Martinez. Martinez gonna try to find Messi. Oh, okay, that ball wasn't even close to it. We do steal it now. Yedlin. Yedlin cut inside. Good. Cross it over. It's gonna be Messi. Man, there needs to be Martinez in that spot. If he's there, that could be a goal. Oh, great steal. Martinez. Tries to play to Messi. Messi, I need you on a run there. Okay, we're looking better, though. We've had a decent, like, little 10-minute spell there. Oh, that is such a good free kick. That is off the crossbar, I believe. They almost just scored. That free kick routine was nuts. Oh, man, this has been such a close game. That's a weird touch. Navas, great save. Okay, Navas has already made three saves. I think that's already worth it as a signing. Because if Calendar wasn't goal, I feel like he might be down 1-0 in this game. Instead, it's still tied up. Okay, Miller. Oh, Miller, he's just so... He's just such a good defender, man. We are lucky to have him. All right, Busquets to Gregore, gets it to Messi, Messi, okay, bad touch, but leads to Stefanelli, Stefanelli, cross it to Martinez, there you go, Martinez, oh man, that looked good for him, and that's the first half, you know, Navas probably had to make a few more saves than I like, but this game is still tied up, it's still on, oh, that's such a good pass to Roldan, and Roldan's gonna score, man, they worked through us there so well, that is so unfortunate for us, we are down 1-0, yeah, Busquets and Gregore both tried to push up and win the ball back, but they missed it, they got the ball through, and they're pretty much left our center backs out to dry, all right, 1-0 to Sounders in the 54th minute, bro, playing with players this low quality, of course, other than Messi and like Busquets and Alba. It's like, I don't trust them to make certain passes. You got to play so much slower. Oh no, Sounders are starting to take control of this game maybe. And it's going to be Ruznak and it's going to be 2-0. And once again, we try to go aggressive, try to get back in the game. And we just left our defense out to dry. Bro, Joseph Martinez is just not doing it for me right now. He's just, uh, he is struggling a lot. Like he's not getting into the, like the attacking play at all. So uh, Messi up top, we're going to try to do something here in the final 30 minutes to make something out of this game. Oh, it's going to be three. You got to be kidding me. Bro, we're getting slapped now. This second half has been terrible. It's just a great corner, and I don't know who gets beat. I think it's Kristoff, I think, actually. 3-0 in the 68th minute. Right, Messi's trying to do all we can here into Stefanelli. Stefanelli can't get the shot away. Man, our attack has just been terrible in this game. Messi, chance to shoot. It's going to go right to the keeper. I feel like that's our first actual shot. I mean, I'll say this. Before Messi joined, this team, Inter Miami, was the worst team in the Eastern Conference. So you add Messi to this team, it's not going to make it the best team yet. Like, I think we are seeing that this team just needs more. Oh, this could get worse. Oh, what a shot from outside the box. You got to be kidding me. Bro, we didn't struggle this much in the first four games, and this is apparently the worst team in the West. This has been just a slapping. Our worst defeat as a manager yet. I mean, outside the box, that's just a great shot. What are we supposed to do there? You know what? Sometimes it's just not your day. All right, Mota up to Messi. Do we have a chance to celebrate something? Messi can't even get the shot away. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why, but this has been by far the worst game so far. And also our first loss, so much for being unbeaten. Because 4-0, we just got destroyed. So later that week, we're at the Inter like training facility, and Messi comes up to us. And he says that one of his old teammates, who is now a free agent, is interested in signing for Inter Miami. And we say, who is it? Now, this player is going to be Luis Suarez, the prolific striker, the controversial striker. Now, he finished his contract in Brazil, and he's interested in a reunion with Lionel Messi. And we tell Messi, we'll see what we can do. I mean, with our lack of scoring, and I feel like uh, lack of attacking prowess, adding Suarez to this list of attackers obviously sounds absolutely amazing. And in real life, he's actually linked right now a lot heavily with signing for Inter Miami. So Luis Suarez, 35 years old, 83 overall. Now, he's definitely lost some, like, athleticism, some speed, but he's still strong. He's still got, of course, great finishing at 87. His rating might drop pretty quick, but as a free agent signing, I feel like it can't really hurt. And if Messi wants a reunion with Suarez, I feel like we got to try and do it. Now, kind of like Keller Navas, I am not sure about his wages, though. Now, I don't know what this means for Joseph Martinez, if we sell him, if we keep him as a backup. But two years, now, what does he want on his wages? 23,000? That's all he wants? Okay, you know what, Suarez? Absolutely signed up. We have signed Luis Suarez. Man, the old Barca boys are truly back in this team now. We're like, what, 30, 40% Barcelona now? Or old Barcelona? Some might know him as the biter, but Luis Suarez is signed for Inter Miami. Now, if we don't score goals, after signing him, I should be fired. But with uh, Luis Suarez now up top, this is slowly turning into a team, I think, now. So Suarez takes the number nine shirt, and he's going to get his debut in the next game against uh, Wayne Rooney-led at DC United. So Suarez holds a press conference for this game. He says that he knows controversy has followed him in his career a lot, and some might not like him signing for Inter. But he says he's not worried about that. He's only worried about scoring goals and helping this team win. Now, for this game, I've altered the formation a little bit, so we've gone more so to a 4-3-3 defend. So instead of, like, two CDMs, we have Busquets, and then Jean Moto is more like 
like a box to box a little bit. And then the wingers are pushed up. Now, Stefanelli had a red card in the last game. So Martinez, I might play him at left wing. I mean, it's probably our best option there so we can try it. But Luis Suarez starts up top for Inter Miami alongside Messi. And yet again, another debut. Oh man, there's Suarez walking in. Once again, if we still struggle, there's going to start to be a lot of pressure on our job. Like one loss in what? Five, six games is not bad. But like we got to truly take this team to the next level. It's got to start now. So Luis Suarez to Messi to kick off this game. Oh man, the Barca boys are back. Now in training last week, we've told the team that we want to play it a bit more faster. I feel like we're a little bit too slow. So we should play a bit more quick and we'll see if that helps already. This might be a good chance. Jordi Alba into Luis Suarez. Tries to turn, get a shot away. It's going to be blocked. Hey, it's not a bad start, though. Messi to Martinez. Martinez holds it up. Okay, that was a pretty good hold-up play. Mota into Messi. Messi has got Martinez. Goes to Alba instead. Into Joseph Martinez. Okay, he takes forever to shoot. Keeper saves it, though. Okay, that was a better shot than I initially thought. Okay, we got a free kick at an interesting spot. Messi. Now, I'm going to try to aim for Suarez because you know what? Messi to Suarez is quite a deadly combo. Suarez is up for it. Luis Suarez. Oh, keeper. That header was right at him. Okay, this has not been a bad start, though. Not bad at all. Okay, Yedlin. I don't know what that was. Thankfully, he will recover. Yes, he will. All right, boys, please defend this. Please don't concede the first. Thank you. Good defending. Busquets gets it out. It's Suarez to Messi. Now, Suarez has good passing for a striker. I like that a lot. Messi through to Joseph Martinez. Joseph Martinez crossover. That was supposed to go to Suarez, like, more towards the penalty spot. But right now, they got a free kick. They are setting that in. I'm a little scared on these now because I feel like recently, our set play defending has been pretty bad. Okay, Messi. We got options here. Messi. We are going to find whoever this is. Oh, man. Good ball, but can't quite get to him. That was really good defending. Suarez over to Jean. Now, Jean has options here. Jean, crossover. It's going to be messy. Me oh, man. It needs to go to Suarez. On our crosses look good. They just keep going to the wrong player like, just by a little bit. Not going to lie, though. Our, our quicker play, the team looks a lot better. The attack looks better, though. All right, Mota. Great ball to Yedlin. Yedlin is going to try to get it over in the middle to... Okay, Jean. Oh, man. Once again, our attack is it's so close. I feel this first goal coming. Messi to Suarez. Suarez. Wait for Martinez. Martinez. Get it back to Suarez. Cross up. Luis Suarez. Oh, man. Once again, it's good defended. Oh, no. Okay. This is a good looking chance. Shot. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. That shot looked like it was right at Keylor Navas. I am confused. How did they actually score this? That's like their first actual shot. Navas, I'm a little bit... I'm going to ask questions to you right now. This shot is oh navas navas Ooh, what is that obviously we are not happy about that that shot was right at him that should not have been a goal man that makes no sense 40th minute we are down one nil though all right now we're pissed because gene is in into luis suarez suarez oh man i need you to shoot first time all right now we are upset messi messi through to luis suarez luis suarez shoots and he scores his first goal for inter miami okay we have tied this game up we're gonna win this game i feel it that is a debut goal and a messy assist for luis suarez's goal though yeah suarez made a very good run messi finds him that little tight pocket there and then it's a great finish okay we are winning this game it's 1-1 in the 45th minute come on we've been the better team by far so we gotta win this and that is the first half okay another free kick in a spot that i do not like Jordi Alba versus that guy who was much taller than him. Thankfully, we did get the ball out, though, because I got a little scared there. And I just spoke really, really fast. Okay, Messi is this. Suarez, it is Suarez. The connection between Messi and Suarez is absolutely telepathic. And Luis Suarez has a brace on his debut, and it's 2-1. Oh, man, Messi at cam, Suarez a striker. It might be a match made in heaven right now. You know, man, this is like the finishing we needed. Someone confident in front of goal who I know can score this. Left-footed shot, it's perfect. Now, we go on and win the game. Man, Luis Suarez has a chance to be the top scorer in MLS. And also, us playing faster, I feel like is really helping our attack right now. Because Messi, over to Martinez. Martinez, do we have a shot with you or a pass? You know what, Martinez? Martinez! Okay, they caught up so well there. I'm going to throw up. Messi, through to Luis Suarez again. Suarez, okay, he kind of, that defender kind of caught up there. Okay, that is a great long ball that makes me a little bit worried. But okay, that pass right there was so bad. All right, boys, we need to defend this. This two goal, this one goal lead is actually not safe. Okay, Kristoff, just get it out, please. Just be confident and just kick it. Okay, no. What was that? You got to be joking. No. Oh, thankfully, he puts it wide. Benteke misses. You know what? That may have been my fault, but we survived. Busquets out to DeAndre Yedlin. Now, Yedlin has got Suarez so free there. Oh, the cross is blocked, though. It's actually going to be a free kick. All right, Leo. Oh, man, are we shooting this? Is this shooting range? All right, Messi, we're going to try to go pretty wide here. Keeper is expecting a cross, but Messi's going to shoot and... Okay, it's side netting. Didn't quite have the placement, though. Martinez, Suarez in to Lino Messi. Leo gets it over. It's going to be the, the sub Taylor. He just got sandwiched. Bro, these teams defend so much better on these sliders. Come on, let's get this third goal to seal it. Messi 
Okay, who was that even to? Martinez to Leo. Leo Leo gets the ball through to Mar Suarez. Oh, man. Okay, now they're ready for that pass. We got 10 minutes. Sergio Busquets in to Suarez. Suarez to Taylor. Taylor steals it. Taylor, okay, keep it. Oh, man, we just can't quite keep it now. That's an interesting cross. Miller, please get out, Miller. Okay, we deal with that. All right, more subs on a CDM and a left back for more defensive. Uh, freshest, I would say. We got five minutes, and I'm terrified right now. If we lose this lead, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, man, that's going to be a foul. Please just get it out. Get it out. Kristoff, is that a foul on us? No, apparently it's not. Okay, we're clean. Martinez, no, Martinez. Martinez loses it. Boys, please. Boys, just defend for your life right now. Kristoff, Kristoff, please get it out. Kristoff, great defending. Gets it out. They have one final chance here. Ref, blow the whistle, please. Ref, thank you. Ref blows the whistle. Oh, man. That should not have been that tough of a win. Their one goal they scored was so lucky. And I feel like the age of our players showed at the end because everyone was so tired. Messi, Suarez, everyone was rinsed. But you know what? Suarez first game gets a brace and we get a win. We're back on track. I love it. Now, after that game, we talked to May United legend and also DC United manager Wayne Rooney. And he says, well played out there. You guys deserve the win. And we say, you made it tough for us. And Rooney says he thinks we have a bright career ahead of us. That he could see us managing Manchester United one day. And we tell him we appreciate that. Now, that Luis Suarez signing has definitely gave the whole team a jolt here. Because we're now third in the Eastern Conference. Like, we're pushing up the table. But with Luis Suarez also comes other things. So, we're in our office and David Beckham walks in. And he says he's had some complaints from the players about Luis Suarez's behavior in the team. And Beckham says that he thinks we should talk to him. So, we're going to have to do that. But after our next game, which is going to be New York Red Bulls. So, we go the same lineup other than Stefanelli in for uh, Jean this game. And the team played so much better in that last game overall. So, I'm looking forward to keep that going. Because if we do that our job safety is gonna be fine all right messi up to luis suarez once again suarez he's got the good he's got the bad and also a good shot stefanelli rebound oh stefanelli actually put that in what a tight angle and stefanelli back in the lineup scores okay what a start to this game luis suarez goes for an audacious volley attempt keeper cut off guard and stefanelli somehow from that angle puts it in oh man this is a big angle it goes off the uh, crossbar, I think. Yeah, crossbar into... Okay, crossbar post, then into the net. What a start. Definitely five goals in 12 games. And this one is 1-0 within three minutes. I mean, we got to admit, that was created off that audacious volley attempt by Suarez. Martinez up to Yedlin, into Suarez. Now, Suarez, oh man, that first touch was so heavy. Now, I am playing Martinez a right wing, because uh, honestly, on paper, he's our best right winger if uh, we got Messi at cam. So, I'm still trying that. I feel like he's so good. I got to get him in the lineup somehow. Mota up to Suarez. Suarez got space to shoot. Luis Suarez, okay, that volley attempt had something on it. Busquets into Messi. Messi goes for a left-footed finesse shot. Again, blocked. Yedlin over to Messi. Messi, chance for again. Another shot. Again, it's blocked. While our shot's blocked. All right, first bit of defending. Now, that is great ball, but Kristoff, Kristoff, great defending. Messi out to Martinez. Now, Suarez. Man, Suarez just makes the best runs, honestly. Martinez, okay, I tried it. Uh, that did not work, though. Messi to Busquets. Busquets over to Mota, who's been very good in the starting eleven. And guess what? This shot is blocked. All right, it's been a good start. This game is still the only 1-0. Messi, Messi, good turn. Messi, Suarez is driving the defenders away. Messi, oh man, I tried to go around the last guy. Oh, that is such a good ball. Miller, okay, he didn't even see that one. Somehow we survived that though. Okay, well, we got to score the second goal right now. Definitely to Leo. Now Leo's got space. Leo is going to try to find Martinez. Great ball, actually. Martinez. Oh, Suarez, that first touch so heavy. I wasn't even sprinting. That's a good steal though. Definitely in two. Mota shoots all oh, keeper save and the rebound is going to be caught by the keeper. I see their defense is playing so deep. Suarez though Suarez tries to tries to dink it to Messi. Okay, I don't know what that attempt was, but we might win that. We do. Suarez can go for something audacious again and it goes over the net. Busquets to Messi. Messi chance for a finesse shot. Oh man, it looked good, but of course it's going to be blocked. How are all our shots getting blocked? Oh man, that is such a good pass and they're going to score. Bro, like their first shot of the game goes in. Navas, can you make a save? It was a great through ball to get this ball right here is great to find the striker, but oh man, Navas, like I need you to make a save. We have like dominated this game so far, but it's 1-1. Yeah, Lynn, good ball to Martinez. Now Martinez and he's using his pace. We're going to try to get in the box and look for a pass here. Suarez in a good spot. Gets a shot away and oh, keeper off the post and it goes right back to the keeper and that's halftime. Okay, this feels like the last game. I feel like we're going to win this. We just need to be more clinical in the second half. Messi off to Stefanelli. Stefanelli tries to go for a little dink. Messi, oh man, I try to go for Suarez. Suarez goes for a bicycle kick and it's uh, not even close. Stefanelli gets it over to Mota. Mota looking for a better shot. It's going to be Messi. Oh man, he just needs to get uh, a little bit deeper there. Oh, that's a great cross, but thankfully we were aware of it. Now this is dangerous because honestly, my defense, I don't trust Navas right now. He's, he's look shaky. Oh, Navas, like I need, to, I need you to make a save. He's not made a save at all this game. Their second shot also goes in. We've played so well this game. Like what has happened? Just in the box. I mean, we're not really marking him at all. It's like just letting him free in our box, do what he wants. And then first time shot. I mean, do I blame Navas here? I mean, a little bit, but maybe not as much. Okay, we are now losing this game. Mota in to Suarez. Suarez, good first touch. Suarez will shoot. Oh man, saved and it's going to be a corner. Come on, we got to score that. Leo, 
Good cross in, but it's going to be too close to the keeper. No, it's not. Suarez puts it over the net, though. Okay, come on. We can, we can get back in this game. There is still time left. Messi. Messi. Oh, Suarez. I thought he was making a run there. He just kind of stopped. He got held up, I think. Stefanelli into Mota, into Suarez. Oh, man. It's our attack. Looks like everyone's kind of standing around too much. Okay, this could be a decent counterattack. Gene was just brought on. He's making a run, but man, everyone is so slow. Is this an old team? Our team of dinosaurs? Yedlin, I believe he's still on side. Yes, he is. Yedlin. Gets it to Suarez. Suarez into Messi. Messi first time shot and he puts it just wide. Oh man, I thought Messi would score this totally. Oh, it goes just wide though. Yedlin into Suarez. Suarez turns. Gets it to Messi. Messi. Messi, please finish this. Messi will score. Okay, he shoots and he scores and now we have a chance to actually win this game. I got scared there. I really thought he missed it. But Lionel Messi on the score sheet. 2-2 two -two with like, what, 12 minutes left? Man, I really thought he messed this up. I, I thought we got too close, but that is a great finish actually. Come on, 2-2. Two -two. We can still win this game. Suarez gets it to Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Finale into Leo. Leo, can he play a good pass? Okay, that's good enough. Yedlin's hurt, actually. That's not good. Yedlin gets a crossover. Okay, he's hurt, so I don't know what that cross is. Into Suarez, though. Suarez shoots, and Luis Suarez scores! 81st minute. Within a span of four minutes, we have turned this game around. Oh, man. 3-2. Nine minutes left, I think. Man, Yedlin put all he had in this cross. I don't know what happened there, but it actually worked out beautifully. Suarez, great low shot in off the post. Come on. We deserve to win this. I feel like we deserve to. All right. Negri on, and then also Gregor on. Defensive subs in the final nine minutes to just hopefully seal this win. I can't take much more of this. Feels like every game, the final five minutes, we're defending a one goal lead just the stress of it Jordi Alba Suarez are you on side still I think he is Suarez try to go for a volley attempt I think the defender got something on it though Miller wins that Miller beautiful win now could we seal here because Messi Messi into the box defenders running away Messi shot and Messi will seal this win oh man 4-2 what a turnaround despite Navas not making a save this game we still are gonna walk out with a win and of course it's Suarez and Messi oh man Suarez just dragged those defenders he's basically screened them and then Messi just a calm clinical finish from the number 10 I mean, in a game where things just weren't going our way to still end up with a win is beautiful oh oh Messi outside the box, what? Oh my, to make it 5-2, Messi score is the best goal of the series so far. And also completes his hat trick. This kind of goal just gets one touch. Okay, Messi, what a shot. That is Messi, I believe, his first hat trick in the MLS. Oh, man, what a way to end this game. And that is full time, man. On these, these sliders are no joke. So this is one of the most satisfying wins I've gotten FIFA in a very long time. For us to make that comeback in the final 15 minutes and then win 5-2, what a turnaround and what a game for Leo Messi. And oh, man, that sees us climb up the table even more. If we win our next game, we'll be first in the Eastern Conference and also have the highest point total in the entire MLS. But now we're going to talk to Luis Suarez. Now, we tell Suarez that we like the intensity. We want that. But not so much that it hurts the team. So especially with your teammates, you got to tone it down a little bit. And Suarez says he understands. He can get hot-headed at times, but it's because he's so passionate. He says he'll work on toning it down. We also say, Luis, just, just one more thing. No fighting. So our next game is against Atlanta United away in probably MLS's best stadium. Like this stadium is actually insane. Now Atlanta United are in ninth place. Like I said, if we win our next game, we will have the highest point total in the MLS, which that is pretty nuts. Like the signing of Luis Suarez and Navas, it has definitely jolted this team forward. Although all of our wins have been so stressful. So I'm not expecting anything different in this game bro this stadium is absolutely insane and of course they got Tiago Amato who's probably one of the best wonder kids in MLS so we're gonna face him and hopefully once again pull off a win and continue to improve this team is that a train did a train just go off yeah this stadium is the real deal now Yedlin was hurt but he actually I guess he wasn't actually that bad because he didn't have to miss any time so that's good okay Lane United good start Miller Miller he is just an absolute beast I like Miller so much wait Messi handballed that oh no this is not good Navas please save this I feel like it's going to the top corner I've seen this enough where I know it's happening. He's actually done it. Tiago Amada, the wonder kid in the MLS, puts this in the top corner. I knew it was happening. I just knew it. That is just unsavable. You've got to be kidding me. We are 1-0 down in the first five minutes off that. How unlucky and fortunate is that? On ultimate, like free kicks, the CPU just scored every single time, which is more of a reason we can't handball it or foul them in bad spots. And Messi, I mean, he pretty much handballed it in a bad spot. So I will blame uh, Messi partly for that. Now Mota into Suarez. Suarez into Leo. Leo, good turn, Leo. Goes for the shot, man. That was well defended. All right, come on. We haven't that many corners today. And now that we have Suarez and Martinez and Miller, I was going to say we should be deadly from corners, but that time we were not messy. Chance for a shot. Messi shot right at the keeper, though. And Amada looks like a really good player. He is working through our midfield very quickly. Okay, what is that touch? I am not sure what's happening here. That's going to be a goal. No, Nava saves it. Great save. Yedlin gets it out. Okay, Navas, he makes a save. I like to see it. Now, counter tackle by Messi. Suarez. Suarez is in. Luis. Good header attempt. Luis. 
gets in the box. He's going to try and dink the keeper in. That's going to be, oh man, that is such a good finish by Luis Suarez. That is absolutely dirty. And this game is tied up, man. Suarez and Messi, such a good combo still. I go, man, Brad Guzan came out for it. Suarez, it's a perfect chip. Okay, we erased that weird free kick goal and this game is now tied up. This team is really starting to come together. And Almada, whenever he's in the box, it's just dangerous. Look at him. He just He's just a very dangerous player. Oh, the dribbling there is insane. Hold up. Someone please get him. Thank you. Okay, we can't let him do that for too long. All right, Busquets out to Jordi Alba. Alba into Mota. Now, Mota has been a very good addition to 11 too. I feel like having a more like on the ball, better to, better midfielder alongside Busquets has helped a lot. Now, that's going to be one into uh, Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Okay, tried to play it to Martinez and not even close. Okay, Mosqueda, this guy is rapid quick. So we got to try and step up. Plays it back. Sosa gets it forward. Miguel against Miller. Miller puts in a good tackle. Messi, great ball to Stefanelli. Stefanelli, Suarez right there. Gets it to Luis. Luis. Gets it back to Messi. Oh, man, I was going to try to get it to Martinez. Thank God formation change, and also we're playing a little, little bit quicker. That tactical change has definitely fixed this team a lot. So you can just tell the whole team, okay, as soon as I say that, it's a horrible pass, of course. The ties are jinx, but the team overall looks a lot better. And Atlanta have a few good players that look really good. Miller, Miller. Okay, Navas, good save. Rebound, rebound. Oh, oh, they actually scored that? You got to be kidding me. Like I've said that every time I conceded, but still, how do they score this? Thiago Amada scores his second. Oh, man, it's like... A uh, good save. And now I didn't think they were going to do anything from that angle, but oh man, they got it back to Amada that he just fires it into the corner. Okay, 2 1. And Lay United are looking like a very good team right now. This is going to be going to be a battle again. And that is halftime. Oh man, we can't let Amada into dangerous spots like this. So Miller is doing some markings. Don't like them being in these kind of spots, man. It's just so dangerous. They got a few good players that are really attacking wise, really good, like Mosqueda and then Amada. Even the, what was his name, Etienne? Oh man, it's just so dangerous. Miller, good block, but the possession, it's just glued to their feet. Okay, Messi will get onto that though. Come on, Stefanelli in to Mota, Suarez. Oh, I was waiting for, I was waiting for Messi. Okay, there it gets to Messi. How does that work out? I don't know how, but Guzan saves it. Come on, we need a good corner. I feel like we're due for a corner goal. I feel it. That looks good, Suarez. Oh, not quite. Let's try this again. Messi to Suarez. The combo actually to Martinez. Martinez can't get it. We have 30 minutes left. Time is slowly running out for us, but Suarez gets it to Leo Messi. Messi in behind. Messi has time and space and Messi's not going to miss that. Okay, once again, we have tied this game up. It's 2-2 with like what? 25 minutes left? 20 minutes left? Again, it's the Suarez-Messi combo. Just one of them holds the ball up. The other makes the run and it's just perfect. All right, 30 minutes left and this is 2-2. Oh, Mota, great steal. Suarez, Messi. Oh man, I, th I thought Stefanelli was going to continue his run. Suarez to Messi. Messi, good first touch. Messi, oh man, actually was not a good first touch. Oh, Sergio Busquets. That is a classic Busquets tackle and then I give the ball up. Oh, Sergio, I'm sorry. Now Miller needs to come over. This is extremely dangerous. Mota, he's not known for his defending. Oh, I should have just cleared it. Oh, I thought they scored that. I thought it was in the back of the net. Okay, that's a break. I will not do that again. Messi out to Yedlin. Yedlin into Martinez. Martinez. Oh, Suarez still on side, I believe. Suarez will shoot. Oh, Suarez now puts it wide. Okay, maybe that's karma for them missing that chance. Oh, man. Luis could have gave us the lead there. Messi to Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Suarez waits for Messi. Oh, man. Messi made a horrible run there. He should have ran down the middle. Come on. Both teams feel like they can win this game still. That's a great cross, but oh, got to get it out. Got to get it out. We do get it out. Oh, man. That was stressful. Suarez, where's the aggression? Okay, Suarez. Wait, that worked? Did that work? Oh, man. It's a handball on them. Suarez, that worked beautifully. What a psycho. Mota. Mota is going to find Messi. Messi, chance to give us the lead. And of course, Messi's not going to miss that. Oh, man. Once again, a late goal by Messi to give us the lead. 3-2. Bro, this team is starting to really come together right now. Man, Messi has settled in in this team. 3-2. Once again, a one-goal lead with like eight minutes left. Can we actually do it again? A come from behind win. Jordi Alba up to Jean Mota. Messi to Mota. Oh, man. This team is absolutely purring right now because Stefanelli no that was gonna be a tap in oh man that was so beautiful oh it's just okay that was pretty much that was pretty far offside man that was gonna be a beautiful goal though oh man two minutes added on I think we might have done it again Messi ball to Stefanelli he's onside this time Stefanelli gets it back to Leo Leo dink over okay to Martinez Martinez oh we can't get it but you know what it's gonna be a win man we have taken a leap with this team in this episode Messi Suarez are playing so well together and we now have the highest point total in MLS another great win and their confirmation we now sit top of the Eastern Conference this reunion has been beautiful like Suarez five goals in six games then Messi 11 and 9 in 16 I am liking what I'm seeing from this team right now now we're in our office and David Beckham walks in and he says that our youth scouts have found a player that he thinks is ready for their first team 
game debut. And he says this player could be the next big thing in MLS. So you'll meet him in the next episode. Okay, we just signed Luis Suarez to Inter Miami, reuniting him with Lionel Messi. Now, it's been a few months since we started our career as a manager. There's been some ups, also some downs, but it feels like recently we've really started to transform this team. Now sitting top of MLS and things are about to get a little bit more interesting because we have found our first youth player of the series and this one could be special. So drop a like if you want to see more of this series and let's get right back into it. But okay, right now we're heading back home. We were out running some errands, just some stuff we had to do. Now we get back home, we say what's up to Fergie and we get a call from David Beckham. Now he says, remember that youth player I told you about? I've sent you some footage of his scouting report. So we sit down and load it up on our TV. So we see his initial scouting report. I mean, there are a few things that jump out here. And then we watch some highlights of him playing for the Inter Miami youth team. Now this kid looks like he's a pure goal scorer and we're liking what we're seeing. He's almost ready for his first team debut. But first comment, I think you should have other instructions for Busquets. There's almost no midfield. Yeah, I mean, the problem with that is Busquets is obviously not the fastest at this point in his career, although he never was fast. Now he is on stay back while attacking. Maybe we put him on cover center that might help just to make sure he stands there like right in front of the center back. So we'll see if that helps. Next season, if you're still in Miami, you should make Miami Stadium bigger because that's what they're doing IRL. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a decent idea, but it also brings up our future. Like, are we going to be here next season? In the comments, let me know if you guys want us to stay at Inter Miami for another season or look to move to a different team, of course, in a different country. I want to see what you guys think for season two. Should we stay at Inter Miami? I mean, the possibilities right now are endless for us. And last one, sign Sergio Ramos as the last signing. Yeah, a lot of you guys want us to bring Sergio Ramos to this Inter Miami team. Now, Messi, Busquets, Alba, Luis Suarez, and Sergio Ramos would be absolutely insane. There's a slight issue right now, though. And that issue is the current budget at 18 million. Now, that's not quite enough to sign Sergio Ramos. We need a little bit more than that. So I'm not ruling it out for now. We are actually going to enter like the summer transfer window. So the transfer window is about to open. So maybe we sell some players. We get some cash that way and potentially go after Sergio Ramos. We'll see. Now, David Beckham gave us like a mid-season press conference about the team. And he says that everyone at Inter Miami is very happy about us as a manager. And so far, we've done a great job transforming this team. Now, there's still a lot of game left, but he says they're very happy about the direction of the team. And I mean, hey, he should be because we've taken Inter Miami from bottom MLS to basically top. Well, right now we have two games ahead, so win those will be what? Four points above Philadelphia. So we're in a great spot right now. Now our next game is Orlando City. We have very unfortunate news though. Stefanelli suffered a twisted ankle injury and he's going to be out for four weeks. Now Stefanelli's actually been one of the better players in this team. I think this does mean though that that youth player is getting his debut probably soon. But for Orlando City, we're going to go with that lineup. Once we signed Luis Suarez, this team like took a massive jump. So we're going to find out if we can continue that. Now in saying that, a lot of these games have been very close. So it's been a very competitive season, I'll say. But Inter Miami versus Orlando City. Let's try and keep up this form. Now, we are going to miss Stefanelli, but it just means that I need Martinez to step up. I feel like he should be so much better than he is. Maybe in this team full of legends, he's just... uh gets overshadowed. Okay, Luis Suarez just gave that man a broken rib. But Gene Mota into Lionel Messi. Now, we really push up here. We're getting this uh, possession in their box. Now, DeAndre Yedlin has a chance to cross it in. Okay, Yedlin. Yedlin, you are never crossing again. Okay, that is a great ball, but Yedlin. Oh, Yedlin. No, Yedlin. Oh, that clearance was one of the worst I have ever seen. Can we not do that again? Okay, Messi. Great ball out wide. Now, Yedlin. He's trying to make up for his last mistake. Yedlin. Great ball to Gene. Now, Gene. They get a pass to Suarez, yes, he can. Luis Suarez shot. Good save. Okay, first shot of the game. That was not bad. Martinez into Messi. Messi dinks it up to Suarez. Suarez, can he get to it? Yes, he can. Oh, Luis Suarez. What a finish. Bro, Suarez and Messi is such a good combo in this team right now. And this right here is a very Luis Suarez-esque goal. Like Messi, just a little dink over the defender. Then first time left foot volley. That is beautiful. Okay, 1-0 to Inter Miami in what? The 20th minute. Okay, that's a great pass. Now, Miller. Miller, I know you got that. Miller, you're one of the best center backs I've used at this low rating. So I trust you. Now, Kristoff, not exactly the greatest compared to Miller. Okay. Come on, boys. Good tackle. Finally get the ball out. Now, Jean gives it to Leo. Leo stops. Yeah, down the middle to Mota. Now, Mota out to Martinez into Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is going to try to cross it in. Suarez gets to it, but it's going to be cleared. Busquets in to Messi. Messi, the tight dribbling. Oh, defender destroyed. Messi will shoot. Oh, I think I put too much power on that. That was such good dribbling, though. Oh, man, just a little bit too much. My defense, stay strong. Miller, Miller. Oh, Miller read that pass so well. This has been a pretty uh, straightforward game for us. Not like a huge lead yet. Oh, Jean to Messi. What a ball. 
Lionel Messi shoots, and it's going to be 2-0. Okay, Jean. On that right side, he's not very fast, but he's got very good passing. Like, I didn't think he'd actually make this pass to Messi, but Jean, he has that in his locker. And then Messi, he's not going to miss many of these. 40th minute, 2-0, and we are looking great. Martinez to Leo. Leo, first time shot. Oh, Lionel Messi, first time shot into the corner. This is Inter-Miami just domination. Now, I knew Messi had this in his locker. Just first time shot, just runs into it, and then outside the box, really. And oh, just over the keeper. Now, keeper, I feel like maybe should be doing better with that, but it might have been just a perfect height. 3-0, though. Now, Orlando are not the greatest team MLS. I think they're in 10th place in the Eastern Conference, so I feel like this has been not that much of a surprise. Oh, Messi. Messi going around a few. Messi is looking for the hat trick. Okay, we kind of dragged it a bit wide there. Messi's on one this game, though. And that right there ends a beautiful first half. Okay, don't let him back in the game. You know, teams... Especially away from home, second half. A lot of the time, they do tend to play a bit better than in the first half. So we can't let it happen in this game. That's awkward. But right back to Navas. Okay, Kristoff, great steal. Martinez, okay, he lost it right away. This game is slowed down a little bit, but that's to be expected. Just don't let him back in this game. Miller, Miller. How old is Miller? Is that a player that we could bring to a new team? Because he's just such a good defender. Oh, to Messi, Messi, Jordi Alba. You should continue your run there. Jordi Alba, cross up to someone. No one is even close to that. But that header is into Leo. Leo shoots. Oh, keeper. That's actually a great save. Here we got another free kick, I think. Now this one. Oh, man. I want to shoot this, but man, we're shooting this. Probably not going to score it, but you know what? We're going to try. All right. Outside the boot. Try to get some decent power on that. Now, Lionel Messi, if you score this, it will be one of the best free kicks of all time. Keeper is going to grab it comfortably. Oh, Martinez gets it over to Jordi. Alba goes for the shot in off the post and Jordi Alba scores. Man, all the Barcelona boys on the score sheet today. It's 4-0. And this team, I think, has officially taken the leap. And Martinez, I think, has two assists this game. So, I mean, that's a good thing from left wing. But 4-0 in the 66th minute. Now, we are still looking for more because Jordi Alba crosses it into Jean. Oh, Jean goes for the bicycle kick and that's on target. Okay, that would have been maybe goal of the season. Okay, this is dangerous. Okay, Kristoff. Oh, wait, that's a that's a foul? Oh, wait, no, I dragged it back. Never mind. All right, let's get some rest for Luis Suarez, Jordi Alba. They've played some heavy minutes later. Lately, but this game looks like it's gonna be one of our most solid of the season. Get Lynn to Martinez. Martinez, can we get you going? Now playing striker. Drifts about wide. Oh, the shot is right at the keeper, though. Martinez. I was so excited to use him in this series, and I feel like he's just not been good at all. Or at least compared to how good he should be. Now that's offside, but keepers didn't save it still. Wait, that was on side? Wait, all the players putting their hands up. Man, they fooled me. Hey, Messi. Miller. Miller almost got that. Maybe not. Okay, if we score this, oh man, the way he kicked that up to Taylor, that would have been nuts. We're just like freestyling this game now. And MLS defenders are just not ready for Lee. Oh man, he almost went around the last one. That was so close. MLS defenders are not ready for Messi though. You know, saying that my defense might not be ready for this counterattack because they're going to score. Okay, if there was ever proof that the Tyster Jinx is real, it's right there. 4-1 is the scoreline. Busquets and Messi. Messi is still looking for his hat trick. He's looking for it. Messi. Tries to get it over. Oh, Messi. That was a, almost a perfect pass to uh, Taylor. All right. That is full time. 4-1. Now, this team might have not been that good. But still, this was a great win. Probably our most comfortable win of the year so far. Everyone played great. And we just continue to take a commanding lead at the top of MLS. Now, Beckham walks into our office. And he says, about that youth player. Did you watch his scouting report? And we say, yeah, he looks really, really good. But we tell him, tell me what you know about him. So, this is Sammy Jorgensen. He's a right mid slash striker from Norway. 18 years old. Now, he's 6'4". He's left-footed, and he's clearly athletic. The man's got some pace, too. Now, Beckham says they scouted him in Norway, and he's spent three years in the Inter-Miami youth system. And he also says, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sammy Jorgensen looks like the next Erling Holland. The size, the speed, the finishing ability. You can't ignore the similarities. Now, Sammy Jorgensen being 72 overall, and especially with Stefanelli being out for like another three weeks, I think it's time for Jorgensen to get his debut for Inter-Miami. So we're going to, of course, promote him to the senior team, and we may have just found maybe the next big star in world football. Now, him being 6'4 and being a right mid is a little bit uh, unconventional. Usually, at that height, he'd be pretty much a striker. But I think his pace and his dribbling means he can play out wide, maybe as a right winger. So, I think that's exactly where he's going to make his debut. So, 18-year-old Jorgensen starting alongside Luis Suarez and Lionel Messi. We're going to see just how good he is. Now, before the next game, we walk up to Sammy. And we tell him, you're starting in the next game against New York City FC. Do you think you're ready for this? And Sammy says he's worked so hard since he was signed here at the age of 15 that he's been dreaming about this moment for a long time. And he is 100% ready for his debut. So Jorgensen starts on the right wing and we're going to see if he actually is maybe the next Erling Holland. I mean, there he is. Sammy Jorgensen, a debut to remember. See, MLS knows about him. Especially with Messi being the team, there's a lot of eyes on his debut right now. And it's time for his debut. I am so excited. So let's try and continue this, this great runner on and also see how good this kid is. Now, I'm not sure I've ever had like a 6'4 right winger, so it's going to be interesting. Now, I feel like the team is a, a bit better than Orlando, so this should be a closer game. Should be, but honestly, very hard to predict on these sliders. Now, that's a great ball to Ledezma, but Miller, oh man, Miller. 
his defending is just so good. All right, Sammy Jorgensen, first touch. Okay, the man has got some size and some pace. First shot, that's a very decent shot for our new youth star, maybe. Now, he does have the power header trait, so I feel like from corners, he's got a chance to, but Suarez this time scores instead. Oh, man, nine minutes and Messi corner assist and Suarez goal. Just like that, it's 1-0. I've been waiting for us to score from corners again. I feel like it hasn't happened in a while, but Suarez climbs beautifully, and it's a great header. Okay, another great start to another game. Okay, Messi driving forward. Jorgensen is making a run. Messi, great dribbling. Plays to Jorgensen. Oh, wow. he, the man is so tall. Compared to that fullback there, he like, towers over him. And we have told him to cut inside because I think at that height, we definitely want him uh, being more central. Not towards the wing. And that was almost a very bad mistake. Honestly, New York City FC look pretty decent in this game. Their attack are working around us pretty well with Miller. Once again, it is just very consistent, good defending. Now, Busquets to Yedlin. Trying to find Jorgensen. Oh, man, that's not a good ball from Yedlin. All right, Messi's going to find Martinez here, I think. Messi trying to get Martinez. All right, New York City, are they are defending a lot better than Orlando did. Like, other than that corner goal, I feel like we haven't had that good of a chance. Or at least that many of them. Now, this is once again dangerous Miller. Oh, Miller, like, he, like, slid over to the right. Navas, good save. Oh, Suarez, did you bite him? Don't tell me you bit him. Okay, he didn't. Thankfully, he did not. Now, this is a dangerous spot, though. Good free kick out by Jorgensen, and we are going to clear it. Now, maybe one more chance for halftime. Messi. Gonna try to get it back to Mota. Okay, Messi, I wanted you to turn and pass it. What was that back heel? Okay, first half, we're up 1-0, but not many chances this game so far. Right, Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Now there's some space on the other side. Because Mota is gonna get it to Martinez. I actually wanted that to go to Jordi Alba, but obviously he went to the wrong player. We love that. Suarez to Messi. Jorgensen, I think, is in. Jorgensen in for maybe his first chance to score. Goes for the shot. Oh, man, that was a good shot. A great save, though. That was a good, like, low near post shot. Keeper somehow saves it. Now, I don't know where Jorgensen is in this box, but okay, Miller. Oh, Miller gets to it. Keeper saves it. Oh, Miller. Good header. All right. This game is the corner game. The corners are actually looking pretty good. Miller again. Miller again. Okay. This is the corner game. Come on. Feel like the goal is coming. Miller. Third time is a charm. Suarez. Oh, that landed right in front of him. Jorgensen. Good touch. Dinks it up to a teammate. Header attempt. Oh, man. What a save again. Hey, Jorgensen did well there to try to get it back in the box. That cross over there. It's a pretty good cross. Yeah, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go short corner to Yedlin, I believe. Back to Messi. Now, Messi. He's going to pick out. Okay, Messi. Wait, wait. Okay, that's totally not what I had in mind. Messi leaves it for Jorgensen again. Now, Jorgensen in front of goal. A little turn. I like it. Goes for the shot. Oh, man, he's trying. Messi to Suarez. Suarez. Now, Martinez got space. Martinez tries to play to Messi. Goes to Suarez. First time shot by Suarez. Bro, that shot was... This keeper is having a day. This was such a good shot by Suarez. Was it deflected? No, okay, just what a save. Corner lofted in. Miller, or maybe, okay, he's not going to get it. Now, Jorgensen's making a run. Miller, try to find Jorgensen, and he just goes right at the keeper. Okay, we got 20 minutes left. This game is still on. Suarez to Messi. Messi, oh, man, Jorgensen was kind of free there. Messi's going to go for the shot himself, though. Oh, Lionel Messi. What a shot, and that might have just won us this game. Bro, Messi right now is playing incredible for this team. Just outside the box again, and just a clean perfect shot into the corner all right two subs on 15 minutes left let's just try and secure this win now all right this could be a chance for them to get back in this game and it's gonna be cleared okay gene that is not the best clearance but i guess it does the job okay now this is a free kick in a very bad spot i feel like nine times out of ten this is a goal this time is gonna be it's gonna be no different they score another free kick seven minutes and now this is a game again oh it's like every free kick is in the back of the net that's like a weird angle it's not even like it's not even that close it's just such a great free kick okay seven minutes this game got a little bit more scary come on boys we don't want late drama ball in behind miller catches up miller miller all that that was such good dribbling navas that is his biggest save so far for this team okay their keeper is up they got a minute left keeper is up which is very interesting okay great header navas good save again come on we can't lose this lead in the final 10 minutes 2-0 this has got to be a win. Okay, that's awkward. Messi will clear it. Oh, man. Keeper is trying to get back. Keeper is trying to get back. Suarez. Messi from the halfway line. Okay, that did not work at all. Went right to the keeper. But that might be just enough to waste time. And that is going to be full time. Okay. Hey, New York City gave us a run for our money there. It was definitely a tougher game. But still, going to be a win. Courtesy of Lionel Messi. I mean, he is just on fire right now. Now, Jorgensen, I feel like he had a solid debut for not scoring. Other than not getting a goal, I liked what I saw. Now, after that game, Sammy gives an interview. And he says it was an absolute dream to make his debut. Now, he would have liked to score. But he knows as long as he keeps working hard in training and trying to help the team win, it will all come in time. He's going to get more chances in this episode. 
so would I know it. Now, our next game is actually not an MLS game. It's the quarterfinals of the US Open Cup. So this is like the domestic cup in the United States. When the quarterfinals, there's eight teams left. And I mean, hey, there's a chance to win our first trophy ever as a manager. So we want to take this seriously. And we know Philadelphia, they're one of the best teams in MLS. So this game is going to be tough. Now, before this, in our press conference, we say, of course, the main focus is the MLS Cup. But it doesn't mean we're going to take this competition lightly. Our goal is to be the best team in this country. And that means also winning the US Open Cup. So Stefanelli is still not back yet. So Jorgensen starts again at right wing. Could this be his breakout game? And man, we're only two wins away from reaching the uh, Open Cup final. So but like I said, Philadelphia, they're a very good team. They're second place behind us. So this should be a decent matchup. Okay, they are starting this game playing very fast and just attacking us right away. Good save, Navas. All right, Messi, we're going to go for a long ball to Jorgensen. See him uh, stretch his legs a little bit. Okay, Jorgensen. The man is like quick for being that tall. There's definitely shades of Erling Holland there. It's just, can he show the finishing ability now? Messi to Suarez, Suarez, Jorgensen. Okay, he was free there, Suarez. That pass was disgusting. Messi doing some defensive work. Messi's putting some pressure on the defense. Didn't quite work though. Jorgensen gets it to Messi, Messi. Over to Jorgensen. Oh, that's beautiful. Jorgensen scores his first goal for Inter Miami. Oh, man. Okay, right there. There's the finishing ability for the youngster. Bro, that, that one two play with Messi was so clean. Just a little quick pass. Messi dinks over the defense. And then Jorgensen, good left footed finish. Bro, I do see Erling Holland and Jorgensen. I see it. Even from right wing. All right, first professional goal in his career. And that could be the first of many for Sammy Jorgensen. More importantly, though, this is 1 0. Okay, they are playing very aggressive today. Don't injure my favorite center back. Busquets is going to find Messi. Now Messi has a chance for maybe a finesse shot. Messi, finesse shot from distance. That was very close. A little bit wide, but still decently close. Suarez out to Sammy. Now Sammy, look at the pace. At 6-4, that pace is Erling Holland-esque. We're going to get it back to Suarez. Suarez tries to get first shot. It's going to be blocked. It's going to lead to a corner, though, to Messi. Our corners have looked good today. Are they going to continue? Why is it going to Jordi Alba? I don't know, but back to Messi. Okay, Jorgensen's calling for it. Far post. Oh, Messi, Messi. What was that cross? Oh, that's such a good move. Miller, though. Miller somehow recovered from that? Okay, I was about to say. I thought for sure that was goal. The recovery from Miller is insane, though. Okay, Sammy's got a lot of room here. Now, Sammy, what kind of passing ability do you got? Okay, great ball to Suarez. Tries to lay it off for Jean. It almost works. It's going to be say or blocked, though. And we are playing some free-flowing football right now. Miller from the corner gets to it and it's into the back of the net this team is on absolute fire right now 2-0 to miami in the 33rd minute hey our coaching ranking is going up right now wait that's you tell me wait that's a yellow for alba how is that a foul he got nothing but ball there like come on this is not a foul uh okay maybe maybe it's a foul maybe i'm mistaken free kick sent in that's dangerous but uh christoph gets it out well messi to jorgensen jorgensen okay we got we got a lot of space here, but he needs help. Gonna get it to Messi. Messi is gonna dink it over to Jean. Jean now dinks it to Suarez. Oh, that pass was so bad. Wait, that's a, gonna be a free kick? Okay, I think I'll take that outcome. That pass was so bad though by Jean. All right, there's like a 90% chance Messi is scoring this. From the free kick spot, Lionel Messi into the back of the net from the free kick spot. Messi is taking the MLS by storm, or I should say the US Open Cup by storm. I mean, you can't give Messi a chance this close to the goal. I mean. He's going to score that most times. And that free kick is just beautiful. All right, Jean has a chance to cross it over to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, man, if he, like, turned more, he could have uh, more attacked that a lot better. All right, that is halftime. Man, another really, really good first half right now. We're playing so good as a team. Does not mean that Philadelphia are out of this game, though, because, once again, they're one of the better teams in MLS. So you can never count a team like this out. And they just hit the post. Case and point. Okay, this is incredibly dangerous shot. That goes over the net. Okay. They are very close to getting back in this game, at least a little bit. Gene gives it to Jordi Alba. Now, Jordi Alba looking for a cross. Goes to Sammy Jorgensen, and that was uh, deflected off Elliott. See, now I'm worried about getting Jordi Alba a red card, which would be not all. Oh, what a back heel. That'd be so bad for us, Navas. Good save, though. All right, Navas looked a little shaky in the last episode. I would say this one, he looks a lot more confident in goal, as he should. Now, it doesn't mean that he's going to prevent every goal, but that's a good block, and defense gets the ball out. Jordi Alba, another cross. That's going to go to not gonna go to Suarez. All right, 13 minutes left. Suarez gets more rest. Martinez on that striker. Now, I thought they were making a comeback, but they kind of died down a little bit. So, feels like right now, we remain in control. Taylor, Martinez to Messi. Over to Jorgensen gets the shot away and it goes over the net. It'll be a little bit better. And Messi at Cam is literally just so good. Jorgensen, 
back to Messi. Messi, first time volley attempt, and it's going to be blocked. But Messi and Jorgensen are combining very well. You see the chemistry is already building. Now, when Stefano gets back, Jorgensen might keep his starting spot because honestly, he's playing better than Martinez. Maybe Martinez goes back to like just being a backup striker, not a winger. Martinez into Jorgensen. Jorgensen, maybe one more chance. No, he was offside. That must have been so close. You okay, know, this is actually the last chance. No, because the ref blows the whistle again. Doesn't want to see us succeed. But 3 0. Man, their comeback looked lively to start the second half, but I mean, we just took control of the game. Jorgensen gets his first goal for the club. Beautiful thing to see. But we're now through to the US Open Cup uh, semifinals. One game away from our first ever final as manager. All right, so 27 games in, that is how the MLS Eastern Conference looks like. In the MLS, if you end with the highest point total in the season, you win the MLS Supporters Shield, which I mean, I think that counts as pretty much a trophy. And it looks like it's between us and Philadelphia right now. But our next game is in the US Open Cup again, and it is the semifinals versus FC Dallas. This is to reach the final, and that should be our first chance for an actual trophy to win. Win. Now we're taking a little trip to take Fergie out and we know Fergie loves the beach. So we're going back to the beach this time in Miami. I mean, there's a lot of people around. The place is nice. It's a nice sunny day. I mean, there's definitely perks of being a manager in a city like this. Like there is a lot going on here. Now, as we're out and about, David Beckham sends us a text and he says after the next game, he needs to talk to us. He's got something very important. So I don't know what that is. It sounds ominous, but we're definitely gonna have to meet with him after our next game. So for the first time, Messi, Stefanelli, Suarez, and Jorgensen front four. Now playing FC Dallas, once again, win this game and we'll be in our first First ever cup final as a manager. Now it's very good to have Stefano back. I missed him. But hey, I want to be in this cup final, whether it's just the US Open Cup or nothing. It's our first chance for a trophy. I want to be in this final. And we have played amazing in this episode. So once again, I want to see it continue. Suarez. Now, long ball to Jorgensen. Okay, I don't know what we tried there. I think it was actually great defending by that Dallas player. Okay, this is a decent uh, little move by Dallas. Now we just got to defend right. Defend the same way we had in the episode, and we will be good. Is that Raul Jimenez playing for Dallas? Hold up. Oh, they're actually going to score. Wait, is that Raul Jimenez or is that someone else? I feel like it's got to be someone else, but they score the first goal of the game. That felt like so weak. Just a little pass in the box and Paul Ariola gets to it and it's just a light little finish. Okay, for the first time today, we are now down a goal. Come on, we got to win this. We got to reach this cup final. And Bobby Edlin. Now get that to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, good first touch. Tries to get it to Suarez. Oh, man. Dallas are putting a lot of pressure on us right now. They got Velasco. As we know, Velasco, once again, he's like Almada. Like one of the best young players in MLS. So he is definitely one to watch. And also our whole defense is one to watch. Because right now, all of a sudden, it's not looking great. Miller will clear it. Oh, okay, Miller, we, we got to clear it the other direction. Sent in. Miller gets it out. Okay, that's a decent recovery clearance. Gets, gets it to Yedlin. Yedlin through to Suarez. Now Suarez making a good run. Okay, Jorgensen is soft side. I didn't mean to pass that. Man, we got to like spread out more. Man, this is like the best team we faced today so far because they are passing it around us in ways that today teams have not been. Navas, great save though. All in. Miller should have that. Miller has it. Now get it to, I believe, Suarez. Yes, we do. All right, 30 minutes in. I'm a little bit worried, but I'm trying to not get too worried because then we start playing different than we are. Who's gets to Messi? To Gregor. In to Suarez. We just can't find any attacking lane right now. Come on. Where is our attack from the last few games? Oh, man. It's just not the same. They're putting so much pressure us on the ball. Oh, Miller. I need you to recover. Man, Miller's recovery speed is just literally insane. If that's Kristoff, that's probably a goal right there. Now, Messi waits for Suarez. Waits for him. Suarez can't make the best run. Goes to Jorgensen instead. Gets it to Yedlin. Now, Yedlin. Okay, let's try and be patient. Patience will be rewarded if we can find it. Suarez gets it over to Messi. Messi shot and patience has been rewarded. It's of course got to be little Messi. This game is tied up at 1-1. Again, Suarez and Messi combining. Those two just play so well together and that should be halftime. So 1-1. Game is once again all tied up. Now second half. Let's try and win this and reach a cup final. Messi to Jorgensen. Now man on the right wing he is just so lively. He does so many things well other than scoring but Messi scores pretty well. That shot is right at the keeper. Right, Grigore gets it to Messi. Messi Waits for Gregory. Oh, I mean, I need someone to make a run there. Like, there's space to exploit if someone just makes a run. This is a good looking attack, but Miller is not having it. Man, this second half has been so close. I am getting more nervous as each minute goes on because Dallas are not going to just lie down. Oh, man, that is such a bad, dangerous pass. But Miller, it's always Miller. Oh, no. This time, this time, Miller can't stop it and they're going to score. And they make this 2 1 in the 68th minute. And it's been coming. They've had a little bit more possession in the second half. We need to, like, wake up. We're about to be knocked out of the U.S. Open Cup. I feel like we're missing. Mota in the midfield. He was out with a red card, so we had to play Grigori. He was much more of a defensive mid. I feel like we're missing that, like, box-to-box -box mid right now. Come on, we still have a chance to get in this game. Yedlin to Suarez. Suarez needs one pass here. Suarez keeps it, keeps it. Oh, man, he just loses it. Our attack just does not look the same this game. Messi, now you're still the same. 
Gets it up to Luis Suarez. Volley attempt. It's Luis Suarez and Lionel Messi. The combo to tie this game up. It's just always these two. Finally, Suarez gets in space there. Perfectly timed pass. And then Suarez is not going to miss that. 75th minute. This game is 2 2. All right, we have we have life again. NFC Dallas are just trying to keep possession. Play so slow. Feel like they're trying to take us out of this game. It's very annoying. Gregory steals it though. Somehow that would look like a little speed boost. That finale to Suarez. Suarez gets it over to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba crossover. Oh man, no one's even there for it. Okay, it bounces up though. Suarez gets it to Stefanelli. Okay, it's just right there. Suarez, why didn't he touch it? The ball is right there. Here we got five minutes. Both teams looking for a winner. Now, I don't know if this goes to extra time or penalties straight away. And honestly, I don't want to find out. I just want to win this game. Okay, Jorgensen gets it to Luis Suarez. Oh, Suarez just loses it. I did not expect Suarez to lose it there. Oh man, one minute added on, I think. This is going either extra time or penalties. I'm not sure which one. Okay, ref, don't let them, they're, they're going to let you get another chance. Ref. There's no way. Miller, get it out, Miller. Okay, that is full time. I can't believe the ref actually gave them another chance to score there. Okay, we're going to extra time. So 50 more minutes, uh, two halves of 15 minutes, I mean. We got extra football, and this feels like it's about to be very dramatic. Oh, man. Come on, boys. This is how they've scored. A few of their goals, just not being able to track them in the box. Navas, what a save. Oh, boys, we need to get this ball. Why are they we letting them dominate possession? Thank you. Good block. All right, now, Gene, we brought you on. He's got the only fresh legs in the team, basically, but Suarez... Up to Grigore. Of course, it's just tackled away. Man, our team has been flat-footed this whole game, it feels like. Suarez tries to get it to Jorgensen, but the ball is not the greatest. Okay, first 15 minutes, literally, it was a lot of FC Dallas. Now, 15 more minutes, otherwise going to penalties. Okay, now this looks like a decent chance. Fans getting a little loud. Gene, we got to track it back, though. Over to Grigore. Grigore gets it to Suarez. Suarez trying to find the right pass. Messi was right there. Man, Suarez has kind of had a bad game, at least passing-wise. And five minutes. Is this destined to just be a penalty shootout, which would be the first of the series? Suarez out to Sammy Jorgensen. Jorgensen, great pass to Suarez. Jorgensen, oh, with such a good pass, and Suarez puts it over the net. Oh, that might be our final chance. It was pretty far out in a tight angle. It was actually a good shot. Just so close. Oh, man. It was just always... It was destined for penalties. So, to reach cup final, we're going to have to beat Dallas now from the spot. All right. Luis Suarez up first. We should have the experience and the advantage here. We should. Taylor Navas, this could be your moment to be the hero. First penalty for them, though, is going to be a goal as well. Now, Jorgensen. The next Erling Holland. Can he score his penalty? Oh, the, the keeper saves it. Navas. Can he make up for that save? Yes, he can. Okay. On well, Messi, we know he's scoring this. We know it. I don't have to question it. Okay. Keeper saves it again. Navas, please. Navas. Navas. Oh, what a save, Kaylor Navas. Okay. Now, Jean, we're going left. We're going left. Oh, oh, that actually goes in. Oh, I thought the keeper saved it. Okay. This to give us the advantage. And Navas, this is Navas's moment. Now, the experienced Sergio Busquets to send us to the U.S. Open Cup final. He's going to put it in the back of the net. Oh, man. This was a battle. But we are going to be through to our first ever cup final and our first ever chance to win an actual trophy. Oh, man. Messi, Jorgensen both missed their penalties. That was not a good shootout. But Navas is the hero of the day, pretty much. And also, of course, Sergio Busquets to score the winner. All right. So the final is set. We're going to be facing Columbus crew for our first ever chance for a trophy as a manager so we're getting relatively close to the end of the season we only have like a month left now we are on transfer deadline due august 31st which is a little bit interesting because in our office walks david beckham now he says that sammy looks great so far and we say absolutely now he would have liked to score more but he got his first goal under his belt and we're not sure if he's the next early holland but he could definitely still earn that title in his career now beckham says about that important thing he's been contacted by a certain player who wants to sign for inter miami and he says this player is one of the greatest footballers of all time so stay tuned for the next episode okay it is transfer deadline day now we have taken inter miami from the bottom of mls all the way to first place i mean of course with a little help including our new youth academy star who could be the next erling holland now there's one month left of this season before the mls playoffs begin today we have one final chance to make signings this season and we have something extremely exciting in the works so drop a like down below if you're enjoying this series and let's get back into it. Now, first thing today, we're driving to the office, the Inter Miami headquarters, because we have a very big deadline day ahead of us. And of course, Fergie is coming with us. Now, we arrive at the office, walk through the lobby, and we get into David Beckham's office for a meeting. Now, Beckham says we got some work to do. We were looking at signing Sergio Ramos, but for right now, he's just
just too expensive for us. But there's another player, a free agent, who wants to join Inter Miami. And Beckham says that we think we can make this happen. But first comment, in the MLS, there's a super draft. So make it more realistic. I think you should get a few youth players at the end of the season. Yeah, so if we stay at Inter Miami for season two, we could definitely add like two or three youth players to the team that we got from the super draft. But that is if we actually are here in season two. Now, next comment is saying we should go to Club Bruges in Belgium for our next team. So I think what I'll do is maybe within the next few days, we'll do a poll on my community tab saying for season two, should we stay at Inter Miami or move to a new team? That'd be a good way to see what you guys want to see. Now, if we did leave, I feel like Belgium, that's not a bad idea. So yeah, there's probably going to be a poll on my community tab very soon about voting for season two. And last one, convert Jorgensen to a striker and bring him to your next club. Yeah, I feel like Jorgensen, it's inevitable that he's going to be a striker at some point in his career. And if it makes sense, he could be a player that we bring to our new club or at least try to. I like that idea. But okay, once again, it is transfer deadline day, August 31st. We got about 18 million to spend, but the player that wants to join us is a free agent. So it will cost us nothing. And the player that wants to join Inter Miami is the legend midfielder Andres Iniesta. Now he is without a doubt, one of the greatest midfielders of all time. That should be obvious, like an absolute legend of the game. Now he's 38 years old. We think he still has a lot to offer to this team. So Iniesta free agent, he's 78 rated. Like for the MLS, that's a pretty good rating. Now the issue is going to be his physical stats. The man has 48 stamina and 44 sprint speed, but he makes up for it in his technical stats, which ball control, dribbling, short passing, long passing are still really, really good. Now, I don't know how I feel about a Busquets and he has to midfield at this age when they're both that slow, but pairing him up with Messi, Busquets, and Alba again, and Luis Suarez, I mean, we can't turn down this opportunity. We're going to try to sign up Iniesta. So this should go smooth. It should. Now I'm going to offer an important role. Honestly, I'm not sure if he's starting every game. Now he wants crucial. I mean, I'll give him that. He is 78 rated. Okay, he wants 14,000 per week. I mean, that's fine with me. Iniesta is signed up to Inter Miami. We have signed literally one of the best midfielders of all time. And here it is, Iniesta arriving at Inter Miami. I mean, hey, maybe we could talk Xavi out of retirement and get him to join and have a Busquets, Iniesta, Xavi midfield. How about that? We are a retirement home of legends. And you know what? For now, I'm okay with that. But Iniesta, welcome to Inter Miami. I mean, look at that. Even the status says a player for the history books. And our number eight shirt was free, so Iniesta takes the number eight shirt. Now, I am worried about having a midfield pairing that has what 49 and 39 pace but look at that team Messi and Iniesta Busquets like that is insane I think for his debut though he might make an appearance off the bench because uh yeah 48 stamina we gotta try and manage his game time smartly now before his first game Iniesta holds a press conference he says he's very excited about playing with some of his old teammates that they have so much chemistry out on the field and he's ready to help take into Miami to the next level that this club has a very very bright future so Iniesta's debut will come against Orlando City so we had to rotate a little bit due to fitness but we still got Suarez Messi Busquets in there there. And also Iniesta on the bench ready for his debut. Man, imagine being a fan of Inter Miami. Like one season, your best player is who? Joseph Martinez. The next season, you got Messi, Suarez, Busquets, Jordi Alba, Iniesta all on your team. Like that is nuts. But hey, we still have our goals this season to win the MLS Cup, to win the Supporters Shield, and also the US Open Cup Final, which will be in this episode too. And our left back is about what? Fateful rated, so I'm a little bit worried about our defense this game. Feel like we are very uh, weakened for this one. And also, I gotta take probably Suarez off a little bit sooner. Try and preserve their stamina because they are pretty tired as it is. But Orlando, this is not not a bad start. They're in a box looking dangerous. That's a good touch there. But okay, that is great defending from uh, our 57 rated left back. I like that. All right, Messi picks the ball up deep, gets it to our right back. Now Suarez is making a run. That's not to Suarez. That is Stefanelli. Still not a bad idea. Oh, Miller gets turned there, but the recovery speed of Miller has always been so good. Shot Navas makes a good save. Not gonna lie, Orlando City have had the better start this game, which I don't like to see. Suarez clearance though. Oh man, we gotta get him out of our box. Miller, good tackle. We need to get the ball out of our box. Oh, Busquets tackle from behind. Wait, that's not a foul. If I made that tackle, that is 100% a foul. These refs are biased. Suarez, Messi, Messi's got Jorgensen, and Jorgensen is in. Jorgensen cuts it back to Suarez. Suarez, okay, Suarez. Why would you go with your left foot there? That shot made no sense. Oh my, Suarez. I'm not sure what I just saw, but okay. Mota in to Lino Messi. Messi's gonna take a shot, and good save by their keeper. Come on, where is a corner goal? I'm feeling a corner goal. That is going to be Stefanelli almost just scored from a corner. Now ball back out of Messi. Messi in the box. Oh man, I was going to try to get like an outside the boot shot there. Okay, a bit of a better spell for us. Okay, Negri into Jorgensen. Jorgensen, the power and pace from Sammy Jorgensen, and he will score the first goal of the game. Hey, he looked like Erling Holland there, and our youth star scores again. Now, that was also a great pass from our uh, standing right back, Negri. Like, that was a great pass, but Jorgensen did all the work here in the end. Right foot, weak foot, very good finish. Now, 1-0 is kind of against run of play here, but sometimes that is football. Now, is that going to kill Orlando City's momentum? Because right now, it feels like we can take control of the game now. Jorgensen again, Jorgensen. Gets it back to Luis Suarez. He will shoot, and keeper will save that one. Jorgensen to Leo. Leo dribbling is beautiful. Now Mota out to Stefanelli. 
in to Messi first time shot and that dude's face is gonna have a bruise and also that is halftime okay I think it's time for the debut so Martinez is a striker and then Iniesta comes on for Busquets actually Iniesta makes his debut for Inter Miami now, let's see if Iniesta can help us just secure this win now in the second half now his pace once again he's a slow but how is his passing Iniesta all oh, the passing from Iniesta that was beautiful Messi gets it back to Stefanelli Stefanelli in two Andres Iniesta oh man he almost scored on his first touch okay that is very awkward corner sent in Jorgensen Jorgensen oh man he was there for that rebound is gonna go right to the keeper that is so unfortunate oh that pass from Iniesta though was dirty I see through to Iniesta Iniesta gets it back to Leo Leo out to Stefanelli Stefanelli tries to cross it in Iniesta's making a run okay Iniesta's going for it Jorgensen header and it's gonna be saved by the keeper again okay this keeper is keeping Orlando City in this game now now that is to Martinez Martinez can't get that and that will be cleared Okay, this Allen guy is 57 rated, but he's actually played really well this game. Now, Stefanelli, all great ball to Martinez. Martinez can't quite get to it, though. Oh, that's a great ball in behind. Navas can't save it. Okay, do we try to play him offside there? Because that pass came in and everyone just, like, went forward. It's like their first actual chance of the second half. And, yeah, we played it. We tried to play him offside. Our whole line came up. Okay, that absolutely failed, and we left Navas out to dry there. Okay, this game is 1-1 now. Now, I don't like to see that. Stefanelli in to Iniesta. Iniesta. Oh man, he's got, he just got no pace. Like absolutely none. You know what? He's still got some, okay, and he has to, he's still got the ability though. Okay, this is not good. We're kind of letting their striker in a little bit too easily there. Missed the tackle. Miller, I believe in you. Oh man, that gets through. Why are we facing the wrong way, boys? Come on, we were in control of the game. We can't lose control. Thankfully, good tackle there. Now, Sammy's making a great run. Martinez, Martinez. Oh man, that ball should have got through. Now, another ball in behind and they might score this one. They are going to score and it's 2-1 to Orlando City. Man, this second half, we've been getting caught in behind so much. I don't know what they're changed their tactics to or something because all of a sudden they found space in our back line and our center backs are like pushed up way too much. I don't know why. Okay, we now have like 15 minutes to tie the game up or we are losing this one. On NES's debut, we can't can't lose oh Iniesta another great steal hey he's showing his defensive capability in this game now Iniesta to Messi the legendary combo Messi good dribbling Martinez to Iniesta Iniesta tries to dink it up that's gonna be a free kick I think we might keep this though get it to Stefanelli Stefanelli in to Joseph Martinez and the shot is right at the defender all right final five minutes I'm moving Jorgensen to striker and then Ajin is on for Stefanelli we're trying something here might be our only hope to get a point this game Iniesta gets it to Allen up to Messi Messi is going to try to find Jorgensen. Now, that pass was so bad. I don't think I was even facing the right way, though. I am not sure we're going to have a chance. we got to get the ball forward. And I think the refs going to the whistle. He is. That is so unfortunate. There are two goals in the second half. We're just both caught in behind. And that was like their two only real chances. Now, I think our rotations probably didn't help us this game at all. Like, Busquets having to be subbed off. We were, like, missing Kristoff, too. So, NES's debut. He looked good himself, but we are going to suffer a loss. So, we're still in first place, but Philadelphia are right behind us for that supporter shield. And we are going to finish, like, the regular season in this episode. So, we are going to find out who wins the supporters shield now later that week Beckham meets us in our office and he says that he doesn't want to take any potential trophy lightly like we have a chance to win the supporters shield the US Open Cup and the MLS Cup he wants all three trophies this season and a few days later in training before our next game Iniesta walks up to us and he says that he's been watching Sammy Jorgensen and he thinks he's a very very special player like seeing what he could do in training reminds him of how special Messi was in the early days in training and he says that himself and all the other Barcelona boys will try and take him under their wing and teach him what they know i mean we're starting to see sammy organson like really show in games his ability and i want to see more of it in our next game which is away to chicago fire in this game we are not messing around iniesta starts in the midfield alongside busquets and Lionel messi so we got basically like five of barcelona legends in this starting 11. let's see how they all do this time starting together for the first time in a very long time I think last game, I think the problem was subbing off Busquets. I mean, he was so tired, I had to sub him off. But I think that was why we lost that second half. So this time, Busquets and Iniesta in the midfield at the same time. This uh, this might be very good. Also very slow. Now, for some reason, this field is incredibly bright. And I do not know why. Definitely up to Leo Suarez making a run. Leo up to Luis Suarez. Okay, that defender got right in front of him there. Messi wins a header into Iniesta. His shot is going to be blocked. Now pass into Messi. Messi gets it over to Stefanelli. Stefanelli. Chance to shoot, and the shot is unfortunately right at the keeper. The finale, Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba is going to find Leo Messi, and it's a, it's just a calm and simple finish for Leo, and it's 1-0 to Inter Miami. Okay, we've started this game off uh, very aggressive. Messi, great run, and then it's a classic Messi finish. Now, I'm pretty sure Messi is the top scorer of the MLS. I think he has now 18 goals with that one, so I mean, he is just on fire this season for us. Yeah, the team feels a lot more energized this game, so I am expecting good things. Now, did 
I just jinx it. That's a very rough tackle, apparently. Not a penalty. We got a lot of ball there, so I'm cool with that. But this is one of those attacks. It's very hard to defend, but we do this time survive it. Finelli, Suarez. Now Iniesta is making his run. Suarez up to Andres. Iniesta. Good scores. First goal for the club. And it goes just wide from the legend. Oh, man. Left footed. You I mean finishing? I don't know what his finishing stat is. What is it? Like 70 something? Oh, man. That wasn't that bad, though. I'm curious to see how Iniesta's stamina is going to be starting a game because 48 stamina. I mean, that man is going to be tired quick. Stefanelli. Scott Suarez, though, in so much space. Luis Suarez in front of goal is going to. Uh, I thought Suarez would score that. I was already saying the score of scoring. Oh, man. Suarez, that is a rare miss. Messi over to Iniesta. Iniesta. I want to try to go for a shot at Iniesta, but it's going to be a corner instead. Now, where is Jorgensen? That 6'4 height should be used. Okay, Suarez. Not sure what happened there. Jorgensen goes for a bicycle kick, and uh, that went absolutely nowhere. Iniesta, Jordi Alba into Messi. The Barcelona boys just combining so well here. Iniesta. Chance to go for a finesse shot. Oh, man, it's, he is just incredibly, incredibly slow. Now, this is a good attack. It's a very good one, but DeAndre Yedlin, good interception. Iniesta, first time pass to Jorgensen. Iniesta with maybe the pass of the season. Jorgensen, oh, he can't control it, bro. That was a first time pass from Iniesta. That is incredible. But okay, first half, that Suarez missed, the Iniesta miss. This game should be 3-0 right now, but it's only 1-0. Well, this can't be like a second half like before. 1-0 lead ends to be a loss. We can't let that happen again. But once again, it's a dangerous attack from Chicago. But Miller, Miller, oh, it was a good first touch, but somehow lost it. And that goes back in the box and oh, it's gonna fall. Now Vasquez good save. Please get it out. Alba gets it out. That was incredibly awkward. And this thing is not over. Miller, Miller, Miller. Good tackle. Okay, we make a tackle and then win the ball back in two seconds. Is that what the second half is going to be? Because I don't know what. Any has to, again, any. Okay, we are on the floor. Boys, what is happening to start the second half? No. Oh, it's going to be a good shot. Okay, Kristoff, please. Can we control the ball for one second? Iniesta out to Yedlin. Man, his passing is just so good. Yedlin into Suarez. Suarez. Gets it back to Yedlin. Yedlin, we're going to try to do a cross. It's going to be a Messi. Messi tried to go for a header, obviously. Uh, not going to work most of the time. Busquets in to Iniesta. Iniesta, chance to go for a shot maybe in the box. Iniesta shoots and Keeper makes the save. Iniesta is looking for his first goal. Corner swung in. That one looks good. Suarez can't fight for it, though. It's like Jorgensen is like far post. I'm trying to aim for him. Okay, that's going to go to Miller. I'm fine with that because Miller's really good at corners, but Iniesta... That's going to fall to Kristoff. Volley attempt. Kristoff again. Okay. This game, there's been a lot of awkward chances for both teams. I see Iniesta, Iniesta. Looking for a pass, maybe Iniesta. Jordi Alba, Stefanelli. No, I don't want to cross this in. I feel like we don't have crossing targets. Now, ball to Iniesta. Iniesta. And go for a finesse shot. Iniesta. Oh, man. That's a great shot. Just the keeper is denying his first goal for the team. Messi, good corner. That is going to... Oh, man. That header was so bad, though. Okay. 15-ish minutes. This game is still just 1-1. Well, at this point, one goal might win it. Jorgensen gets it back to Yedlin. Yedlin over to Iniesta. Now he's got a chance to go for a shot again. Iniesta, right-footed shot, and it's going to be tackled from behind. Now, I haven't made subs yet because the team actually looks like we can get this second goal. Just where is it at? Iniesta is using all his stamina he has left. Gets it over to Luis Suarez, and okay, what an interception that is. This should be game over by now. Eight minutes. Iniesta. To Messi. Messi dances around a few. Messi dances around a few. Takes a shot. And Messi will seal the game. Bro, he is just on fire right now. 2-0. That should be another three points for us. Just the dribbling. He finds some space. Finds an angle. And then right-footed shot. Oh, man. That's just beautiful. Now, Iniesta stamina is actually not too bad for playing, like, what? 84 minutes? But subs on. We got, like, what? Five minutes left. This was a solid game. We should have scored more, but it was a solid game. So, full-time whistle. 2-0 win. I'm seeing, though, in these first two games that Iniesta has a lot to offer this team. And I mean a lot still. Even at at age 38 like he's gonna help this team down the stretch all right so we got two games left of the season it's a 34 game season and we're still only one point above philadelphia for the supporters shield so it might go down to the final day but our next game is our first ever chance for a trophy in this series the u.s open cup final versus columbus crew this could be our first ever trophy as a manager so today is the day cup final day now we're getting ready in our closet putting on a suit we gotta look professional today no matter where our career takes us what countries whatever we could remember this day as as the day we won our first trophy so it is a very special day so fergie wishes us luck we leave the apartment and we drive off to the stadium so press conference before the final we say our team has worked really hard to get to this point some very tough games in the quarterfinals and the semifinals but we have so much trophy winning experience in this team that we know for sure our team is ready so inter miami versus columbus crew now nes is tired but i think i'm still gonna start him i mean i can't leave nes out of the starting 11 in a cup final other than that strongest 11 as we go for our first ever trophy and i want this trophy so bad our first ever cup final with a team like this
this. We can't lose this. It'll be so embarrassing. But oh man, like it's been a hard road to get here. That, that penalty shootout in the semis was so close. So I'm expecting a very uh, tough battle here. But US Open Cup final kicked off. Let's win this trophy. Now we need a good start just like the last game. Yedlin over to Suarez. Suarez is going to try to find Messi. Okay, maybe that wasn't the greatest of passes, but we still keep possession. Messi going to try to dink it up to Suarez. Suarez heads it to Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Messi stops. Gets it to Sammy. Sammy dribbling. Oh, man, it's going to be blocked. Okay, a lively start at least. Come on, first goal of the game. Make it a corner goal, Suarez. Oh, man, he looked like he was going to win that. And Jordi Alba, great steal. Now he is leading the counterattack too, looks like. Jordi Alba waiting for Stefanelli, waiting for someone. Okay, Jordi Alba actually great dribbling. Gets it into Andres Iniesta. And Iniesta puts it wide again. Oh, man, Iniesta. Another chance to score his first goal. Okay, man, that is inches wide, though. Come on, Iniesta. We believe in you. Right, now, this looks like a very good Columbus crew attack. But, oh, Kristoff misses the ball pretty much. And then they just hit the post. Okay, both teams getting a very clear chance. Iniesta, great ball to Stefanelli. Now, Stefanelli, we got options. We got Messi running down the middle. Messi makes his run and Messi is not gonna miss he just never does one nil in a cup final and we have the lead he's just the most consistent player ever I think just makes running behind and then it's a simple finish for him again okay one nil and what the 18th minute come on this trophy is ours to take good ball in behind Miller needs to mark him there Yedlin good recovery and we're gonna get it back to Navas and we're just gonna be safe with it and survive no riskiness in a cup final but this looks like a good chance okay that shot is over the net I mean they're getting chances and he has to great ball to Jordi Alba again now Jordi Alba is up for this cup final Suarez Luis Suarez shot okay the keeper was great with his uh positioning there now once again dangerous okay that was a great turn but Navas makes a good save I mean they keep getting these chances it makes it a lot more likely they'll tie this game up now good ball behind Kristoff Kristoff that is much stronger defending there. Messi's got Jorgensen. Jorgensen goes for a volley attempt. Okay, maybe I shouldn't try that. We went for a very special moment there. I mean, hey, they're showing why they're in this cup final. Like, their passing's really good. All right, I don't think we're going to have a chance the first half. I think that's halftime, and it's going to be halftime. Okay, I mean, they honestly had more chances than us there. So, we need to wake up in the second half and, like, keep the ball more. Otherwise, it is 1-0. Now, Iniesta's not too tired yet, so I think he stays on for a little bit longer, but probably going to be the first sub. Messi, Iniesta gets it back to Messi. Messi is going to find Iniesta. Iniesta. Has a chance to shoot, and oh man, Iniesta is looking for this first goal, and he just can't get it. I believe in him every time he shoots, though. Good ball in behind. Nagby is going to try and find an open pass, but he's not going to find it yet. Our defense has done well enough up until now, but once again, we let them just like chill with it with the ball right here. It's going to be very bad for us. It's going to end in maybe a goal, and that goes just wide. Okay, we need to like step up our game right now. Jordi Alba gives it to Messi. Suarez is, is covered there. Messi's going to go for a shot himself. And even Messi is missing. I mean, that was kind of far out, but I trusted his shot there. Suarez, Messi. Messi's got space here. Messi out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen cuts inside. Jorgensen. Might go all the way. Goes for a shot. Oh, man. It's right at the keeper. Man, we are so close. It feels like. Messi, corner in. That is going to be Suarez. Suarez gets to it. Keeper saves it off the crossbar. What a save. That's one of the best saves I've seen all season. Oh, now they're in behind. Miller, I need you. Miller. You have the pace. I know you need to catch up. I know you do. Miller catches up. Slows down the attack. Nagby. Oh, okay. He just went right around me. I can't believe he actually just did a ball roll and went straight at Navas. I was looking for the pass back. Man, their keeper saves off the crossbar. They come down the field and score. It's really bad defending, but I didn't think he was going to shoot at that angle. 68th minute. This cup final is now tied up. Come on. This is where our experience has to take over. Jordi Alba up to Iniesta. Iniesta needs Messi to make that run. Messi in space goes to Jorgensen instead Jorgensen runs to the defender he was just taken out there wait that's on a penalty oh man okay, and he has to get steal leads to a counterattack maybe Jorgensen gets it DeAndre Yedlin Yedlin has got Suarez oh man I knew Yedlin I should have made that pass with him I don't think he could do that doesn't have that passing in his locker like that and this is just a lot of ball for Columbus crew and I do not like it we got 10 minutes oh that what, what was that skill move what was that oh I just got destroyed boys okay Jorgensen could tackle we survive Messi to Jorgensen Jorgensen has got Suarez I don't think he can make that pass though Jorgensen could go for a finesse shot. Oh, it's just scuffed right to the keeper, though. We got five minutes here. Okay, Iniesta is rinsed. So I'm going to do Mota for him. And I think for now, that's it. This might be going to extra time. Unless something happens here in the last, like, what, four minutes. Now, they're going to send this in. That's a great free kick, actually. But it will be controlled for now, at least. Come on. Nothing. No, nothing funny right now. Please, nothing funny. Navas, that is the biggest save of the season. I can't believe he just made that save. Come on, boys. Can't lose this in the final few minutes. We just can't do it. Bro, just get the ball out of our box, please. Someone make a tackle. Goes around. 
Oh, no. They're going to get a shot. Navas, another save. We got one minute left, please. Just get the ball out. Miller, good clearance. Suarez will get it, I think. I'm just going to try and kick it. We're going to extra time, I think. Oh, man. This game, they scored. It's been so close. We got bonus football now. Okay, I think we needed to just survive that 90 minutes. I think now we regroup and we win this extra time now. What a messy. Jorgensen into Suarez. Suarez. Oh, man. This angle is terrible. He's going to try and play back to Messi. Plays it back. Messi shoots. And it's going to be blocked. Come on. I need a good corner, Leo. I need a good corner. That's a good corner. Suarez can't get to it, though. All right. Just keep the ball for a second. Stefanelli into Kristoff. Our center back goes for a shot. And it's blocked again. Come on. Keep the pressure on Stefanelli. Back to Jordi Alba. Has got... Jorgensen, Jorgensen gets to it and Jorgensen scores. Oh man, finally he uses that 6'4 height and Jorgensen makes it 2-1 to enter Miami. Oh man, Jordi Alba, great cross too. The man is huge. Like I saw him in the box. He was like towering over that fullback. And I'm like, you know what? He's got to win this. He does. It's not the cleanest header, but it's placement's good enough. Our youth academy star may have just, okay, I'm not going to say it too soon actually. I'm not going to jinx it, but that's a great header though. Still got like a lot of time left actually, but it's 2-1. Come on, let's get that. Let's get that another goal. Let's just seal it. Suarez timed to Sammy Jorgensen. Jorgensen is not going to beat him. The dribbling though is good. Oh man, how did I get that to Suarez? I totally passed that. Jordi Alba wins that. Jordi Alba wins those. Come on, the momentum is on our side. Suarez plays it to Leo. I guess not Suarez. Definitely to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Balls for him. Volley attempt. Bro, how does the keeper save that? All right, one more chance of this first half extra time. Messi swings it in. Miller was there for it. Okay, I don't know who this is. We're going to go for a header attempt. It's Kristoff, and it's over the net. Okay, 15 more minutes. Come on, I would like to just get one more and just seal it so we don't have to defend a one-goal lead. Mota, great ball to Stefanelli. Stefanelli to Jordi Alba. Come on, boys. I need my star players. Where are they at? Mota in to Leo. Leo gets it out wide. Stefanelli. Gets it to Suarez. Why are Suarez and Messi so close? And why was Suarez offside? That pass was meant for Messi, who was onside. We got five minutes. Looks like we're defending a one-goal lead right now, which is just the definition of stress. Jordi Alba needs to make a tackle. Good tackle. And, okay, Jordi Alba, please. No mistakes. Just get the ball out. Thank you. Come on, two minutes. Just keep this ball for a second. Jorgensen to Suarez. Suarez, great dribbling into Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Messi can't get the shot away, but we only have a minute left. Keeper kicks it, and that is gonna be it. Oh man, we survive extra time. Inter Miami win the US Open Cup, and this is our first ever trophy in our manager career. Man, Columbus crew, they gave us a really good fight. Like, there were times there that I really thought we were gonna lose our first ever cup final, but Jorgensen, our youth star, scores the sealer. How special is that? And oh man, it's beautiful. Messi will lift our first ever trophy. That's crazy. Like I said, years down the line, where we end up maybe in England, in Spain, we'll know though. Our first ever trophy in our career was lifted by Lionel Messi as Inter Miami win the US Open Cup in very dramatic fashion. What a, what a cup final. Oh man, I'm so glad we won that. We got the job done. So that is one trophy down. Funny enough, next game, we have a chance to win our, actually our second trophy, the uh, Supporters Shield. That's coming up next. But one final time, Open Cup winners enter Miami. So after our big final win, we say that we are so proud of our team to fight all the way to the end and come out on top shows that these players are true champions. Bro, that is a, that is an extremely tall trophy right there, but it's a beautiful thing to see. But okay, it is now time for the final game of the MLS regular season. We face Montreal and it's gone down to the final day for the supporters shield we are one point above philadelphia a win on the final day will secure us the supporters shield trophy but a draw or a loss and it depends on philadelphia's result so this is very very dramatic again now before this huge game we're taking our minds off football we're at the park we brought fergie to run around a little bit now we're trying to clear our head that cup final was so stressful and it doesn't get any better because once again we're playing for a trophy it is just the life of a football manager so the team is fully fit and ready as now we play for our second ever trophy as a manager and so in back to back games games will win trophies like that's pretty special i mean i feel like philadelphia might win the final day so i think a win will only be enough to get the job done so we need our stars to absolutely perform this game now iniesta is starting again i feel like he's actually been really good this is dangerous we get the ball out immediately okay that is not the greatest start but despite iniesta's like physical stats he's actually been really impressive i mean he's a legend so it's not it should be too surprising the only complaint is his, is his shooting but jorgensen Oh, oh, I should have shot first time. I thought he had a chance to go around the keeper. Messi to Stefanelli. Suarez is making a run. Stefanelli, okay, he can't make that pass. I mean, it was a decent attempt. Well, not really. Now, Iniesta, good ball out to uh, Jorgensen. I mean, of course, he's going to win that header. He basically wins every single header. Now, the shooting, 
Could also be special. Okay, Sammy Jorgensen is absolutely coming to life towards the end of the season. An outside the box finesse shot now. Man, he's starting to look like the star he could be. Under the teachings now of Iniesta, Messi, Busquets, Jordi Alba, and Luis Suarez. You can see this kid starting to flourish. What a shot and what a goal. Man, keeper has no chance there. 1 0 in the 19th minute. Sergio Busquets out to Stefanelli, the team. Feels like they're ready for this trophy today. Gets it over to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba tries to get a pass back. He does. Okay, what a goal. Jordi Alba to Leo Messi, and this is 2-0 in the 24th minute. I mean, that was just that was just beautiful. The Busquets to Stefanelli, then Stefanelli to Alba. Alba, the sliding pass to Messi. First time shot. Keeper is just watching it. He didn't even dive. He stands no chance there. 2-0 in the 24th minute. Yedlin up to Jorgensen. Gets it. Tries to get it through his legs. We did not. This game has slowed down a lot recently. They've had some of the ball, but not really doing much with it yet. Try and get our passing going again. Now, Messi, can he hit Stefanelli? Okay, Messi. What a pass. Stefanelli crossed over to Suarez. Suarez can't quite reach that. Iniesta wins it. Oh, man, no one was there for it, though. Okay, they're starting to press a little bit. You know what? Might give us a chance to score because Iniesta outside the box shot. Oh, man, Iniesta actually hit the crossbar from that far out. Bro, give this man his first goal. How close can you get in one episode and still not score? Iniesta gets it out wide to Stefanelli this time. Stefanelli gets it back in. Oh, man, and Iniesta was actually wide open there. Bro, he is so unlucky. This game is 2-0, though. Come on, 3-0 would be a really large step towards this supporter shield. This gets over to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta goes for a finesse shot. Oh, man, the universe does not want Iniesta to get his first goal yet. Messi? To Jordi Alba, though. Now, Messi's continuing his run. Jordi Alba. Oh, my. The telepathicness. Is that even a word? I don't know. Between Jordi Alba and Messi was so good there. Messi just missed the header. That was timed perfectly. Man, that would have been a beautiful goal. Man, they're pressing a lot. They're trying to cause us to make a mistake. But when you got players like Iniesta, Busquets, Messi. These experienced players, they're not likely to make a mistake. Over to Jorgensen. He's not going to get that. We got 20 minutes. This is their chance to get back at the game if they can. Jordi Alba. His defending is just too good, though. Now, ball behind. This is a little bit dangerous. I'm trying to mark these passing, these options. They get by, and Navas does make the save. Corner swung in. That is dangerous. We do get it out. Jorgensen should win that. He does win that. Oh, man. They might score this. Oh, man. It puts it wide. That could have been a chance to get right back in this. Messi out to Jorgensen. This could be where we seal it. Jorgensen gets it to Messi. Messi dribbling. Goes for a finesse shot. Oh, it's going to be blocked. I want to see where that was going to go. We got five minutes. This second half has been a lot of defending for us, but it's been a lot of just calm. We were just trying to hold this result, and I feel like we might have done it. Because Montreal have not threatened us too much. Oh, man. Into added time. Okay, this is their actual chance. No! Of course they're going to score with a minute left. You got to be kidding me. Okay, we got a minute left. Wait, that should be full time, actually. Ref, please blow the whistle. He has blown the whistle. We have won the supporters' shield. Bro, that second half was so weird. It was, like, so slow. But we finished with the highest point total in the MLS out of the Western Conference and Eastern Conference. Now, is there no trophy for this? Because this is a trophy. But I'm not sure the game knows. But, hey, 2-1 win. I do not like that goal we can see at the end. I don't like that at all. But we win 2-1, courtesy of Jorgensen and Messi. And we win the supporters' shield. Yeah, I guess we don't get any, like, trophy celebration or trophy lift, but we do win the Supporters' Shield, so that should count as our second-ever trophy, as you can see, well above the Western Conference. Now, obviously, it's not the big trophy, because the MLS Cup is the trophy we actually want the most. But Messi does win the Golden Boot in the MLS, and Suarez right behind him. I mean, those two are just, like, a, such a deadly combo. And, of course, Messi led an assist, too. Gotta be the MLS MVP. Now, a few days later, Beckham walks into our office, and he says congratulations on winning the Supporters' Shield, and also the US Open Cup, of course. He says they're all very proud of our season but the job is not done yet the most important games are coming up next the mls playoffs which will also probably be the season one finale okay nine months ago i was hired to be inter miami's new manager as my first head coaching job since then we've signed players like lino messi jordi alba sergio busquets luis suarez and even andres iniesta while also maybe finding the next holland in sammy jorgensen now our goal make inter miami the best team in mls we've already won the u.s open cup we won the supporters shield and today we go for the big one, the MLS Cup, as the MLS playoffs are about to begin. So drop a like down below if you're enjoying this series, and let's get back into it. Okay, today we're waking up bright and early in the morning, because today is our first playoff match. Now, we're the favorites to win it all, so there's more pressure on us. So we brush our teeth, we get dressed, we of course gotta say what's up to Fergie. We get some breakfast, and then sit down to scout our first matchup in the MLS playoffs. It's gonna be Atlanta United. But okay, first comment, I think you should make Iniesta play as a deep playmaker as he is slow. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he plays already. 
Like we saw in the last episode, he might be old, but his passing is still insane. And uh, with that 48 pace, now in his career, he's naturally a deep playmaker. Next one, I think Portugal will be a good spot to manage. There's a lot of good youth come out of there. And they have Europe, so you can spend a couple seasons and push for Europe. Yeah, so what are we going to do beyond this season? Do we stay at Inter Miami for another year or try and make our way into Europe? We might find out in this episode. If you go to another team, the first player you should sign should be Jorgensen. Yeah, I mean, I would love to bring Jorgensen to our next team whenever that is, but I feel like we got to do it if it makes sense. Like whatever team we go to next, look at that team and say, would an MLS Wonder Kid join this team? So I would like to, but it can get a little complicated. But okay, since we were the first seed in the Eastern Conference, we basically skipped uh, the very first round. So we go straight to the conference semifinals in which we are facing Atlanta United in the first matchup of the playoffs for us. And hey, we know they have Tiago Almada, which is like one of the best Wonder Kids in MLS. So this could be actually a very interesting game. Now in our press conference before this game, we say our team has been working to get here all year long. This is where the games matter the most. We're a few wins away from the MLS final and we are absolutely ready for the playoffs to begin. So we go with our strongest 11. Everyone is ready for the playoffs and our road to the MLS Cup final starts right now. Now in the regular season, Messi led the league in scoring and also assisting. So if he keeps playing like that, we have a very good chance of at least making the MLS Cup final. So we are kicked off. The MLS playoffs officially begin. This is going to be interesting. Come on, we need a good start. Score the first goal of the game. Settle the nerves down a little bit. If we do that, we'd be in very good shape, which ball in to Messi. Messi finesse shot. Okay, that went off some guy's face. Suarez tries to destroy the keeper, but doesn't quite do it. Iniesta to Stefanelli, gives it to Leo. Leo is going to get it to Andres Iniesta. Man, he's still looking for his first goal. Messi's not, though. Messi hits the post. Okay, that could have been a very fast start. Okay, we just got caught in behind so bad, but Navas saves us. I don't know how those Atlanta players got him behind. That makes me a bit scared. All right, Messi to Stefanelli. Suarez, always oh, just offside. I needed him to stop for a second. Wait, is he still onside? Wait, Suarez was onside there? I thought he was off. Oh man, we hit the post again though. Okay, we've hit the post twice in the first 15 minutes. Come on, it's the start I wanted, just no goal yet. But so far, I like what I've seen. Rudy Alba to Stefanelli once again. We are finding space in their back line. Stefanelli, I'm gonna cross it. Okay, Messi should have gotten that spot. It's actually not a bad cross. It's dangerous. Oh, Almada gets by there. Somehow we don't make that tackle. Kristoff made a tackle. The ball was just glued to Almada's foot. And Thiago Almada strikes again. I can't believe it. We are down 1 0. Bro, we made the tackle. Kristoff, he just couldn't get it from him. That's so unfortunate. Okay, we don't score our chances at the post. Now we're down 1 0. We need a response, a fast one. Gedlin to Suarez. Suarez gets it out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen can go for something. He's gonna go to Messi instead. Messi. We'll try and turn. Okay, Messi just got ran over there. You're telling me that's not a foul? Suarez to Jorgensen. Come on, boys. I think this equalizer is right there for us. Messi shot. Guzan makes the save. All right, Messi. Good corner. Actually, great corner. That is Kristoff. Almost makes up for his uh, lack of tackling. Come on, Messi again. Someone get to it. Kristoff gets to it again, and it goes over the net. Okay, we're close to tying this up, though. Now, I don't think I mentioned it, but these games are a single game elimination, so there's only one left. So this game, it's win or go home. And if the game ended right now, we would be going home. Come on, boys. Don't do this. Busquets misses the tackle. Navas makes the save, though. Okay, we got to wake up. Jorgensen gets it to Suarez. Suarez the Yedlin into Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, man, that pass was a little messed up. Suarez. Gets it to Messi. Messi over to Andres Iniesta. And Andres Iniesta finally scores. Oh my, his first goal for the club and ties this up. Now, that was some beautiful passing though. Like, these are some triangles. And then Messi gets the assist. That first time pass. Iniesta though, finally scores. He had like, I don't know, six chances to score in the last episode. Didn't score. But his first goal is a very big one. This game is tied up now. Okay, let's take control of this game. Okay, halftime. It's tied up. We got a big next 45 minutes ahead of us. Okay, Jordi Alba is driving forward. We got Messi and Suarez. Messi. Might get into a better spot. He does. Messi will shoot. And Guzan saves it again. And Messi feels like he's up for it today, though. Messi cross in. That is a beautiful cross from Messi. Goes to Stefanelli. Stefanelli volley attempt. Okay, that was going nowhere. But Suarez controls it. Gets it to Stefanelli. Stefanelli all trying to find some angle. Messi gets it back to Jordi Alba. Right foot of finesse shot. Okay, that defender literally just kicked it up to the keeper. I am not sure about that. Jordi Alba. Stefanelli. Finds. Oh, Messi was almost in there. I saw that. It was going to be 2-1. Oh, man. Busquets missed a tackle, but Kristoff. Kristoff does enough there to get the ball out. And LA United are playing actually very good this game. They're giving us a good fight. Now, Messi to Suarez. Oh, Messi. That pass was just insane. Suarez, please score this. Suarez will score that. Okay. Messi's passing and scoring is just so insane. Suarez has the finish, and this is 2-1. Bro, it's like every goal starts or ends with Messi. It's one of the two. Suarez, very timely finish, though. Okay, one goal lead. We got, like, 30 minutes left. Let's score that third and really just seal this. Rodiaba into Messi. Messi gets it over Iniesta. Back to Messi. Okay, what are we doing here, boys? Gets it over to Iniesta. Iniesta will shoot, and Guzan makes the save. This is so close to being over. Messi, that is a great cross. Suarez, oh, man, I thought he was going to get that. All right, Iniesta 
Goes out to Stefanelli. Okay, Guzan, how did he save that and pass it out with the same motion? I've never seen a save like that. Suarez, two, Iniesta. Oh man, I was looking for Messi there. All right, first subs, Mota on for Iniesta, and then Martinez on for uh, Stefanelli. Now we get a corner here, Messi. Where is the delivery? Messi, delivery is so good. No one gets to it though. Miller, back out to Leo. Leo, come on, pick out Suarez. Ding in the box, Jorgensen. Okay, how does Jorgensen not get that? We got 10 minutes, of course. We're just defending a one-goal lead. The most stressful thing a manager can go through. Iniesta, great ball to Messi. Messi, trying to find some room. Gets it out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, get it back to Messi. Messi, oh man. They've defended well in this game, totally. Okay, that is ball behind. Miller, I need you. Miller, I need you. He catches up. Miller, Miller, that is such good defending. We got three minutes to defend. Kristoff, oh no, that's one of those lucky bounces. And they just hit side netting. Okay, that was very dangerous. We got two minutes, though. We got 30 seconds, I think. We might have held on to this lead. Yes, we have. We're going to win 2-1. Man, that was close. They hit side netting there. It could have been tied game into extra time, but we beat Atlanta United. Now we head to, I believe it's the semifinals, but it's the conference finals. The game before the MLS Cup final. And this one right here was tough. Now, after that game, Messi gives a post-game interview, and he says he feels like he's playing some of the best football of his career right now. And he's very happy the team got the win, and that we'll be ready for the conference finals now. And I mean, hey, Messi is not lying. 39 games he's got 24 goals and 24 assists that's what i'm saying all of our goals either start or end with messi it feels like we're unlocking prime messi here in this formation in this team and with a prime Lionel messi our chance for the mls cup final just goes up exponentially but before the conference finals we have a little talk with david beckham now he says your contract is going to expire at the end of the season we would love to have you back for another year no matter what happens in these playoffs have you thought about what you want to do and we say right now i'm focused on the mls cup i'm not thinking about anything else so we'll talk after the playoffs end which now it's time for the conference finals we are facing fc cincinnati now they finished six in the regular season so it's kind of a shock they've gotten this far but hey if we win this game we will be in the mls cup final we are only one win away from that come on i want to be in that final so bad if we lost here it would be pretty much a disaster and then i'm not even sure what teams will be interested in us in europe if at all so we gotta prove that we can take a team like this and then win come on boys we got to win this we need everyone to show up and play their best now if i remember right i think we faced uh, cincinnati early in the season and i'm pretty sure they gave us a really good fight so maybe their sixth place spot isn't that actually indicative of how good they are pretty Alba though into iniesta iniesta is gonna find suarez your suarez great turn gets it to messi messi dribbling takes a shot and keeper saves it that's gonna be a corner okay not that bad of a start messi corner in that's kind of beautiful but oh it can't get to anyone gets it back to leo leo is gonna try and stop it'll be another corner okay, i'm gonna try to go for like a really wide corner here it's actually beautiful again how could no one get to these corners messi's given such good delivery messi that first touch is interesting. Okay, that's going to go out to Jordi Alba. He shoots, and okay, what a save. This has been a very chaotic start, but another corner. Come on, Miller. I know you got that. Oh, I guess not. Header is going to get it to Stefanelli. Volley attempt. Oh, that could have fell to Suarez, actually. Okay, somehow we don't score in all that madness. Now, that's a good ball in behind. Yedlin is nowhere to be found. Miller, we'll get to that. Miller, good defending. Jorgensen easily wins that header. Suarez to Messi. Messi, we find Suarez. Get it to Iniesta, actually. Iniesta. Oh, they're dribbling there by Iniesta. Once again, the man doesn't need pace, but we do because Vasquez is in and they are going to score the first goal in this game. Okay, we lost it. And how is Vasquez that much quicker than my center backs? I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. We just got caught in behind though. Oh man, I wish Miller was uh, closer to him, not Kristoff. Okay, just like the last game, we are down 1-0 and what? 18 minutes. That is not the start we wanted. Come on, we need a quick response. Tie it up immediately. Jordi Alba in to Stefanelli. Over to Messi. Messi. In the box, dangerous. Outside the boot from Lionel Messi. Okay, this is tied up within three minutes. That is the response I wanted. What a shot by Messi. Say it once again, if we unlock Prime Messi, we will win the MLS Cup. We just need to unlock him. 1-1 in the 22nd minute. Bro, how are they in behind like this? How are they in behind like this? Oh, how does that ball get through my defenders? That makes no sense. It is 2-1 to FC Cincinnati. I slid with Kristoff to get the block, and the ball just perfectly went between him and uh, Miller. How unfortunate is that okay cincinnati are giving us an absolute battle here it's 2-1 that makes me sick though i don't get how they're getting it behind so easily though like no team has done this to us jorgensen gets it a messy now we're upset messy over to luis suarez oh i thought he would be able to turn there jorgensen a messy messy turns that defender is left in the mud now messi over to sammy jorgensen how does he not win that header either i am concerned with what i'm seeing and that is halftime man we are down 2-1 and we totally should not be we should be up 1-0 right now is this where the journey ends or are we actually gonna come back we got 45 more minutes okay they got a free kick that's actually some decent delivery but Kristoff gets it out and now we can counter off this maybe i see out to jorgensen now jorgensen is on his bicycle jorgensen 
Tries to get it to Suarez. Oh, how does that ball not get through? Come on, where is my Inter Miami team? I feel like we're not playing like ourselves right now. All right, time is running out quickly for us. Just one step at a time. Just tie this up. Jordi Alba's got space. Definitely gets it over to Messi. Messi, chance to shoot, and Messi ties this game up. Everything starts or ends with Lionel Messi. This game is 2-2. Oh, man, we needed this so badly. Messi, good dribbling there. Finds a little angle, and of course, he's going to score. Okay, 2-2. Two, two, we got 20 minutes left. All right, first sub, Jean Mota on for Iniesta again. Now, they have a corner, and they took it short, which is very dangerous because that's in the box. That's going to fall, and that goes barely over the net. Oh, if they would have scored that, I would have been so mad. Jorgensen? Jorgensen? What a ball to Luis Suarez. Suarez takes his time, and he scores. Oh, my. I was not expecting that pass from Sammy Jorgensen, but this is 3-2. That through pass was perfect. Bro, Sammy picks it up and then sees Suarez, and it's just perfectly paced into him. And then Suarez waits for the keeper to move. He does, and then takes his shot right between his arm, pretty much. Okay, 3-2. Oh, man. We got about 13 minutes left. Come on, boys. Take control of the game now. Oh, man. Good ball in behind. I'm trying to block that pass. I'm trying to block it. It gets through. Now, by save. And Navas will grab it. Oh, my. Navas, that is such a big save again. Definitely up to Leo Messi. Messi, good first touch. Messi in the box. Messi first hat trick. Okay, I had to shoot that. It's Messi. I trust him shooting more than anyone else. Okay, Messi just stole that. Now, this should be a pass into Luis Suarez. And okay, how does the keeper save that? We got two minutes. Messi, corner in to seal the game maybe Suarez can't reach it get it to Messi now Messi I need you to be strong hey it wasn't that strong we got seconds left that is it Jordi Alba gets it to Leo Leo could seal it here maybe too Luis Suarez he will shoot Suarez Suarez how do you put that wide I am sick to my stomach oh man I just I don't get how you put that shot wide I don't get it thankfully we have 20 or actually 15 seconds one ref blow the whistle have we booked our ticket to the MLS Cup Final? Yes, we have. Oh, man, another close game. But Suarez, Jorgensen, and especially Lionel Messi help us get the job done, and we are now heading to the final. These two games have been so stressful, though. These playoffs are insane. All right, so we beat Cincinnati, and then LAFC beat Real Salt Lake. So the MLS Cup Final is Inter-Miami versus LAFC. Now, a few days later, we're at the store getting some groceries, and we get a notification on our phone, a tweet from Fabrizio Romano. And the tweet is about us saying that multiple European teams are interested in hiring us as their next manager. Now, our dream is to go to Europe eventually and be a coach, but we can't focus on this right now. We have an MLS Cup final to win, so we'll think about this after the final. And now, David Beckham holds a press conference before the MLS Cup final. He says winning the MLS Cup would mean everything to Inter Miami. To be the best team in the MLS would be a dream come true and be something he's thought about since he founded Inter Miami. And also, he's excited for the final. So our whole season comes down to just one final game. There is LAFC with Carlos Vela and Chiellini. Our team is ready for this so if we win this mls cup final we will be the best team in mls come on in our first year as a coach and messi's first year in, in the mls we have a chance to do something special by winning that beautiful trophy and it would be our third trophy of the year which would be insane that's the treble i guess the american treble i don't know what you call it but this is our chance to prove that we can take a team and win on the biggest stage at least in this country so we are absolutely ready for this and our whole journey comes to this point we're gonna see if we can win this trophy now now we have conceded first in every game so far today so can we not let that happen in this game because in a cup final we can't have that bad of a start but right now this is looking like it might be a bad start Jordi Alba that is actually very good defending okay, we can't let him just join our box though we can't let him join our box okay Navas makes a save I think I don't know what that was they almost just scored though Yedlin up to Suarez Jorgensen is making his run Suarez is gonna find Sammy Jorgensen cuts inside shoots and Sammy Jorgensen scores oh man the next Erling Holland our youth academy star scores the first goal in the MLS Cup final the way he took that was beautiful and for once we don't concede first in a game today man the first touch get by that first defender and then left footed shot that is very Erling Holland-esque okay one nil in the 14th minute that is finally a good start now don't ruin this start with a bad defensive play Kristoff that was a good defensive play come on finally a good start let's keep it going Iniesta isn't it? Oh, try to find Suarez. That almost got through. And LAFC are playing with a very high line. They are playing very aggressive defensively. So as long as you don't make mistakes, we might be good. Now, this ball is a very good ball through Miller. Miller, I need you to make a tackle here, Miller. Miller, somehow that ball was glued to that guy's feet, which is not good to see. It's going to be a shot, maybe. It's going to be a shot. And Yedlin makes a good block. All right, Yedlin is probably our worst defender, but that was a good play. Man, they just look very good attacking-wise. This game is going to be tough for our defense because right now, 
Carlos Vela's in. Jordi Alba saves us. That is a great cross in. Okay, DeAndre Yedlin is up for this game today. And Messi gets it out. Bro, I didn't know Yedlin could jump that high. Man, they're coming right back though. Navas, good save. Please clear it. Please clear it. Okay, that's gonna be a goal kick. Okay, we survived that little spell. That was uh, desperate defending, but it worked. Come on, Jorgensen. Can we have a quick response? Jorgensen is gonna go for a power shot. Okay, that thing had so much power on it. Keeper saves it though. Bro, how does he get him behind? I don't get it. I'm gonna try to block that pass. I'm gonna try to block it all the way. And thankfully that worked because the shot's right at Navas. We can't let him get him behind that easily though. Jorgensen to Yedlin. Yedlin into Messi. Messi. Great turn. Okay, I wanted it to go to Suarez, but you know what? This works for now. It works for now. Jordi Alba. Crossover. Messi's gonna try to get to it. Okay. Man, that cross was to no one though. And that is halftime. This game is very close. The 1-0 scoreline. We're in the lead at least, but it's still very close. 45 more minutes to decide who is the best team in the MLS. Bro, Yedlin is just, he's defensively, he just struggles so much. He's definitely our weakest point. Cause just look at that. He makes me so nervous whenever he's defending. Corner in. That is uh that is definitely a good clearance. Get it out again. Sergio Busquets. Okay, that's a bad clearance. That needs to be to the left. Miller. Miller will always save the day. He always does. Stefanelli to Leo. Leo's got space. Leo gets it to Luis Suarez. Suarez stops. Tries to get it back to Iniesta. Iniesta will shoot. Deflected. Right back to the keeper. Man, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, Busquets going a good run. Into Messi. Messi will shoot. And was that saved off the post? Okay, how do we not score that one? Come on, don't let them tie this up. Kristoff, good tackle. Ball still glued to his feet. Kristoff, Kristoff, a great second tackle. Somehow that went it back though? Bro, this game is far from over. You can just tell. Oh, that's a great ball in behind. And thankfully, he is offside because that looks so bad. Jordi Alba gets it to Messi. Messi is going to stop. Patience will be rewarded. Jordi Alba. Gets it back to Leo. Leo into Stefanelli. Over to Iniesta. Iniesta into Luis Suarez. Patience has been rewarded. That is 2-0. Oh, man. Messi, Iniesta, Jordi Alba, and Suarez all combining to give us a two-goal lead in the MLS Cup final. And that was absolute patience there. Suarez, I mean, in the end, it's an easy finish. We found that space. Okay, we got 20 minutes left. We are in prime position right now. Come on, don't let them even have a sniff back in this game. Jordi Alba tackle. Wait, that was a foul there. Oh, they're going to check it back. Wait, I guess they're not. I was like, that's not a foul. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They are going to get through. Shot. And they are going to score one with six minutes left. Bro, the, the unfortunateness we've had in the episode, I can't believe it, honestly. The fact that this ball bounces and then it's when our back line is pushing up and this guy has a free chance to shoot. Six minutes, one goal lead. All we have to do now is just hold it. Good. Tackle Jordi Alba. Okay, we need to make some subs. Once again, the same subs. Iniesta off for Gene Mota and then Martinez on for Stefanelli. Literally two minutes and some change left. And we will be crowned maybe the champions. We just defend this. Jordi Alba, great tackle. Okay, they got a free kick. It's 30 seconds though. If we just win this header, we might win it. Header goes back into our third and that is full time. We have won the MLS Cup. Oh man, that was like each three games in the playoffs were also stressful. These were some great playoff games. But in the end, the team, the favorites, us, got the job done. Sammy Jorgensen, Luis Suarez scored the goals, but we know the man right there with the armband, Lionel Messi, is the reason we got this done. Because without Messi playing like prime Messi, this team does not get to the final, nor win it. So in our first ever year as a manager, we won the US Open Cup, the Supporters Shield, best record in MLS. And then all the way to the very end the final we get the job done and messi will lift the mls cup and what a beautiful thing to see Lionel messi lifts the mls cup for inter miami in his first year in our first year what a season i mean that's the american trouble i'll call it that i mean we got a team like this you should be the favorites to win that's obvious well you still got to win on the field and that's what we've done so one final time looking at it Lionel messi prime Lionel messi lifting the mls cup for inter miami it is beautiful so after the final we give a post game interview and we say we are so proud of our team it was such a long road to get here but we could not be more happy with how the team played out on the pitch the younger players the older players everyone came through now in the dressing room messi comes up to us and he says that he's enjoyed us being his coach so much this season that he's had a few different coaches obviously and if we keep getting better he thinks we could be a very very special coach and he says no matter what you decide either to stay or leave for europe we're gonna stay in touch and obviously this could not have been done without Lionel messi final stats 41 games 26 goals and 24 assists the absolute mvp of this team then suarez 21 goals that's insane he played so good uh stefanelli was surprised he actually the third top scorer in the team which is good jorgensen eight goals in 19 games he definitely came on 
on towards the end of the year. So it was an amazing season that is three trophies in our first year. But now we're going to talk about our future. Are we staying at Inter Miami? So a few days later, we meet with David Beckham and he says winning these three trophies this year was a dream come true for him. So he thanks us for our contributions. And he says, because of that, whatever you decide, I will support you. Now we tell him we thank him for giving us an opportunity to manage here to start our career managing such an insane team. But we've made our decision regarding next season for season two. Our decision will be revealed in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. I'd appreciate it. We got a new Zlatan player career episode over on Tyster Plus. I mean, you see the thumbnail, something big happened. So click on screen for that. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.